Welcome to the Ramblecast After Dark, After Fall, episode 148. That's all I've got. Nick doesn't have a song, apparently. He's what? Been, uh, he's He said that because that. Jack was coming back, he wasn't going to do one for you. Yeah, I was, it's not a protest. You know, so I'm not doing one because Jack wasn't here last week. You know, He showed up for a minute and said hi. Oh, that's cool. What do you got there? Just looks like a an R2D2 mug. Oh. Yeah, Jack's make... already showing off his bling. It's like I gotta uh, make my drink. Me. Oh yeah, the coke. Oh, oh nice. Oh. This is Fancy. Owen Brews, right? Yeah, this is Owen Brews barbecue, right? You'd think it was Owen and Brews last week, but we just barbecued. Dude. Do you re- do you real refill that thing back up? Nope, brought it oh. back. As is. Wow, so you're like christening this show with your your Disney swag. That's a cool. Yeah. Those things go pretty high too on eBay. Do they? Yeah, because you can only get them at, at <laughs> He's Disneyland. Like, Disneyland. <laughs> you have to. Use it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a Sprite one too. Sprite one. Oh wow, that it looks. So so, what are those, Jack? Like, what are they called in the in the Disney World? I don't Star know. All, the, all they said to me was uh, that'll be six uh, credits, traveler. Ah, I said no. Oh. Okay. It goes for twelve dollars on eBay. Yeah. Well, hell, I would get double my money. Double, yeah. And you sent it to them empty, too, so you can drink it first and then send it to them. <laughs> well, I already drank the Sprite. Yeah, but... now, the did it was, taste the any different? Was, was it grittier? Like, did it have sand in it or something? <laughs> yeah, it was, you know, because it wasn't pure. Yeah, well, it's, it's, all, it's all that it's all that, that moisture evaporator water, so yeah, it's kind of... Mm. Now, the, the mug was, was $19, 12, 20 bucks. Nineteen ninety nine. Believe it. Yeah. It's really cool looking though, as a mug. I gotta say, like the I, I handle think, and yeah, and... look at it. It's, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's got BB eight on it. Sorry. Yeah, it's not R two D two. Well, does it have R two D two? Yeah, it does have R two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's got R four. So R four. There you go. It has so R two. It, like it, it has R Kelly on it too, which <laughs> is odd that they would sell that at Disneyland. R four yeah. doesn't lose his head. <laughs> It's actually just a urinal cake. Oh, okay. So. Mm. But it is it is funny, though, because you see the size of this thing. And <laughs> my uh, my son-in-law bought his son a ball about this size from Toy Story. Had a little star on it, stuff like that. So my granddaughter goes, I want one. I go, let's go get you one. So oh. I go grab one. There's no price on it. I, did, I set it up on the ca- counter. He goes, that'll be 14-something. I go, Okay, it's Disney magic. <laughs> Bend me over. I noticed it's, the things that they 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 were probably knew that they were ripping people off had no price tags on them. Oh yeah. Mm. I go literally. I go. This ball probably cost because it was made in China. Probably cost about thirty five cents. I would say less than that. I was I was going high. Yeah. Hey. Well, it's funny. So one of my coworkers was actually um, staying at your hotel at the same time you were there. Yeah, you sent and, me a thing. And I was uh, I just to tell these guys here, I actually kind of was trying to coordinate a drug deal. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> like, you, you were. I was like, hey, if you see this dude, I just sent a picture of you and Cindy. I'm like, uh, slip him a joint because he's got his <laughs> fucking grandkids all week in Disney and he needs some help. Well, to be fair, I did the parent. Their parents were there. Well, I was trying to get you drugs, anyways, but yeah, but, I, 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 would, I would not have complained because you know, all that walking you do, yeah, especially at, yeah, at Disney World, you do a lot more walking at Disney World than you do at Disneyland, right? I mean, it's like night and day, but yeah, it was a good trip, except for Friday. You know, I've, I've always said, hey, the best time to go to Disneyland is when it's raining. Mm-hmm. Well, that's in California. Florida, oh, humidity. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, Florida, it, it, a cold front came in. And we just got dumped on. And I'm like going, okay, this is no fun. But I, I went with the flow. I know it's hard to believe because I'm not a go with the flow guy. But the whole trip, I was just like, okay. We had our ponchos, but I was like soaking wet from head to toe. No. And then we walked from one side of Epcot to the other. And they said, oh, wait, it's back that way. <laughs> I go, fuck you. Okay. okay. All right. So let's turn around <laughs> and walk back the other way. Uh, Give me the cart. Give me the cart. Give me the golf yeah. cart. Uh, well, those are, those people are licensed. They think they're James Bond, and those little rascal things. Mm-hmm. They just keep going. They they say, "Fuck it, we're going to run you over. Look out!" 
they just don't they don't care. I had one lady get mad at me because her cart wouldn't start back up. And I we're on the uh, if uh, give you guys some advice. Anyone going to Disney World or Disneyland? I think they probably have Disneyland. They have this new thing that you have to pay extra for. It's called like the lightning lane or whatever it is. But literally, we don't, the longest ride we waited on the whole trip was for It's a Small World was 20 minutes. Oh, good God. Space Mountain was five minutes. It literally has its own line to the ride. Your, yeah. The other line was 80 minutes. This was five. We well, just I mean, walked I, all the way through. I just really? of all the rides, It's a Small World is going to be the one I'm not waiting for. Like, Well, I get that. And I, we have small kids. And this was the second time we were on it. I hate everyone hates that ride. It's miserable. But the rock and roll, uh, the Aerosmith rock and roll roller coaster was like ten minutes. And like I said, the other line was because people kept going, "Why are they passing us? What is this line?" I go, "This is the special line." Because <laughs> no, I guess no, because I, I didn't know about it. My daughter found out the information, but she oh, it's fifteen dollars. Sherry's asking the thing, fifteen dollars a day per person. That's not bad. And then if you want, if you want the like Space Mountain or some of the more higher, you have to pay an extra seven dollars to get on that ride. Oh. But I'm telling you, if you want, if you want, if you have especially young kids and you just want to get on the ride, that's that's the best way to do it. Yeah, I mean it's the same as like right before I left LA, uh, I did Universal. And I think the regular ticket for Universal is like 85 or something like that. And then I paid 140, I think, for mine. But that was like you just walked right to the front of the line every time. I was like, totally yeah, it, worth it. Totally worth it. You can knock I've the whole say, park out in a few hours. I've been saying they they should be doing this. They, they used to do those ticket things where you had like a two hour window to ride the ride. You had to go. And it, it, I mean, it would knock about 10, 15 minutes off. I go, I would pay extra to have my own special line. And, just but go I, what's, gonna, what's gonna what's gonna happen is everyone's gonna say, okay, yeah, I, why am I waiting eighty? Like in Epcot when it was pouring down rain, we went on Frozen, I think it was, and it was pouring. I mean, this is it was just we're getting just drenched. There was nowhere to hide, but we only had to wait like five minutes and we got covered up. The other line was eighty five minutes long, and they're just yeah, fast pass is what uh, they used to be. It mm. just. But they don't have the fast pass. But these people, I go, there's no way I'd be sitting in this fucking line for 85 minutes for a 30 second ride or a no. minute ride, whatever it is. Right. But if you're going, if you're going the next couple of months because nobody knows about it, get it because it's a big deal. But anyway, so I was tapping my, you had to tap your mm. little bat, your little bracelet thing on the thing, and this lady couldn't get her scooter started. And my family had all gone ahead, so I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. <laughs> and finally, I said. I went around her. I got goddamn it, God, 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 asshole! And I'm like going, but your scooter's not even starting yet. What am I supposed to do? I got to get up here with my family. So she was pissed at me. She came out. She was pissed at me. Mm. So I had, I had to keep one eye open because I didn't want to get run over by a scooter. She was had this kill switch or something. She was she she went full Karen on me. Yeah. So I was I was just running for my life. <laughs> You're like I can walk. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, chase me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. But uh, but you know what's interesting? I, I mean, I remember as a kid, like you know, I used to go to um, what what's now known as Six Flags New England, but we used to go to um Riverside Park in in Massachusetts. And even when I was a kid around Disney, like part of like the whole allure was like the anticipation as you're waiting in line for these rides. Yeah, you know, like. Each of them all had those, that, that you know that pressure treated wood. It was like the railings. You kind of like as, as a kid, you're kind of like climbing up on them, and you're watching people get on the ride. You're watching the ride going like going by you. You're you're getting mm-hmm. all you know like amped up to get on this damn thing. And but but then again, when we were kids, you know the line was or they they were never that long. Like I wouldn't say they're probably ninety minutes, but. Uh, but just the, kind of like the anticipation before you got on the ride. That's, that's what part of the whole journey was. Yeah, not for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know when Space, when Space Mountain first opened up at Disneyland, we went the first week it was open. There was a, we were 14 or 15, took a, some high school thing or whatever. And so the line was all the way from where it was in Tomorrowland, all the way 
into Main Street. Hmm. It was a three and a half hour wait. So what we do is we get to a certain spot and go, hey, excuse me, our parents are up there. <laughs> oh, so and you then, were a line cutter. I was a li- I was a line cutter. So we'd go up there. So the line was like 45 minutes long for us. Oh. The anticipation wasn't killing me. I, I, I just said, yeah. hey, I'm trying to get on these rides. I think we had to use tickets back then still. If I'm not mistaken, it was an e-ticket. <laughs> but yeah, that was it was pretty cool. I think the funniest thing though is when we were coming back on Southwest, Orlando's airport is packed. And the line, which is huge, but it was going pretty fast. This lady comes up and goes, We're getting to the front. My my wife goes, Hey, ma'am, the line is back there. Oh, I just have a question. <laughs> And so everybody in line said, oh, I have a question, too. I have a question. It's, it's like it just looked like a chain reaction. So it shamed right. her. So she, she had to go back to the end of the line. She didn't have a question. She right. want to take fucking cuts. <laughs> but other than that, it wasn't bad. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it is embarrassing. I mean, I've only, I, mean, I've, I think I got, I've been caught twice at Comic-Con cutting. And it, it's kind of embarrassing because usually I'm pretty smooth about it. And then when you get caught, you're like, damn it, you sneaky bastards. Like, you know, you, but I mean, you just have to go, oh, that's the line back there. Yeah. Oh, I'm just talking to my friend here. Like, I don't know you, buddy. Like, oh, yeah, you do. Remember, I met you last night. <laughs> <laughs> we had someone cut in front of us at Epcot. We were standing like three or four feet behind the people in front of us. There was no one behind us. This lady runs over, over here. And she sends her a hurl. I go, are we invisible? Are we just not here? And she's just looking at me. I go, are we not here? <laughs> and she, she didn't care. Then they couldn't figure out how to work their, ba- their bands. So we went around them and got yeah. in first. I go, took cuts and you're still behind us. <laughs> but I try and stay calm because, you know, yeah. I don't want, I don't want to be, yeah. I don't want someone filming me and saying, well, you don't want to set a bad example for your grandkids, like saying, God damn it. You know? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Anyway, that, that would have been priceless if that would have been like you had waiting in line and then something would have happened. Then all of a sudden, the little grandkid goes, Oh, god damn it! I just want to run. <laughs> she might have, I should have told her to say it. <laughs> but I did watch, I did watch Back to the Future on the plane. Which one? It was a free movie on, on Southwest. I watched half of it on the way out, half of it on the way, the other half on the way back. I forgot how good this movie was. The first one. The first one, yeah. I mean, I, I hadn't seen it probably all the way through in probably 10 years. I said, God, this movie is so good. Yeah. It's one of those movies that it, it has layers to it that you don't pick up unless you watch it multiple times. You're like, oh, there's some there's some cool stuff that's going on in the background and all these other things. That... And there's even more stuff with Biff where you like go, okay, at one point he's in the, he's in the cafeteria basically raping mm-hmm. Marty's mom. Mm-hmm. It's just like yeah, I mean, he, obviously he's trying to do it in the car, and you're like, and the ball headed guy only cares when they're about to fight. Oh right, right. I, I don't, I don't know. It just, it, it just that part ball, always ball headed thing still gets to you. No, no, no. That the the, uh, <laughs> the guy from that, Top Gun. Yeah, Top Gun. God damn it, Maverick. But no, the part where it, it's like, why would you have him at the end of the? Why would you let him back in your house? And I had another question for you because you guys are all sci-fi guys. I was thinking, okay, okay, in the photo is spoiler for people who haven't seen it. it Strickland, yeah. thanks, Chris. Strickland. That's right. Strickland. The, yeah. the, uh, the photo's disappearing, right? And Marty's yeah. playing the guitar. And mm-hmm. bling, are the in the in the real world? Did his brother and sister disappear? Yeah, they did. Mm-hmm. So they they were just gone. So Marty, so Marty's mom and dad didn't know. Well, I mean, basically, with with Marty interfering, essentially, it it starts a whole whole new timeline. So the whole world was different. Yeah, the whole thing would be different. I mean, you wouldn't really see that stuff happen. It's just the fact that he has an artifact from the future that's now disappearing. But so, but oh. the brother and sister didn't disappear in the future. But yeah, well, they in the time. yeah, I mean, eighty five, like, they were still there. No, I mean, like, that whole future's gone, essentially. I mean, even the fact that at the end, sorry, spoilers for Back to the Future, the whole the whole past is completely, or his whole future is completely changed. But it's a, he's, al- he's, he's altered time altogether. So his girlfriend doesn't know who he is, right? 
Well, the girlfriend. I'm trying to remember. She, she completely changes in the second one. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no, yeah. for sure. That's a that's a whole other. Yeah. That's, a, that's a whole other thing. But but you know, it's like uh, because Jay and I who have talked about this because the biggest plot hole in not the first Back to the Future but the second Back to the Future is Biff, old Biff, uh, because. That's the one of the things they explain, you know, because your old Biff goes back, you know, in the past, changes things, but then he brings the car back to the exact same spot in the future, which Doc later explains, you know, when they go back in the past, like, oh, if we go back to the future now, it'll be in this alternate timeline. It's like, well, then how did old Biff go back, you know? And so that's a huge plot hole. And then there's actually a deleted scene that shows Biff, old Biff arriving back, and then he starts to fade from existence yeah. in that. Oh, okay. But it still doesn't work, though. It's like, why was he still able to go back to that uh, that same future timeline? It's a it's a big plot hole that's in, in the second movie. Because uh, another thing that was bothering me, because they named Marty, Marty because of who they met Marty, and of course, I, the whole thing where they don't recognize him, but they have an older son. Look, why man. did they name the older son Marty? Hey, that's a that's an look, endless look. You forget it's 1955. They still have to experience the 60s. Okay, so there's yeah. a lot of stuff that they probably don't remember. <laughs> well, obviously they remembered Marty because they. I mean, you're taking Marty. That's gonna... a nice name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the guy, why did the guy that the guy that I almost kind of like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the guy that I almost kind of fell in love with, and mm. and then the other guy's like, it's fine. I'm gonna. I sailed for. Later. I sailed for you. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then they're into tennis, like in the few in the in the alternate eighty five. Because that's like what rich like, people do in the eighties. Yeah. yeah, rich yeah. people play tennis. Yeah, and they always had that fucking sweater tied around their neck, like yeah, preppy bags. Yeah. I never. What sci fi did. writer? You didn't see Frank Herbert wearing like that bullshit. You know what I mean? Like Frank Herbert, serious sci fi writer, writes Dune, goes on to write Dune Messiah, Children of Dune. There's no way he's wearing that fucking tennis garb. How do you just how do you a, know? Just a one trick pony, wasn't he? Do you do you follow him around? No, nah, I'm just saying. There's no way. There's no way. So that's your problem with the whole movie is that uh, um, the the, the, the whole George, it's like George, he's a George, sci-fi George writer. Why like, would he be into? But that to, was that was big back in that day. Yeah, there was a lot of people. Where I, again, I didn't do it. I thought it was stupid. You did it. You I did. swear to God, never did it. So next week we're going to have Cindy on who will have photo evidence of Jack yeah. doing the sweater on top, thing, all top short mm-hmm. shorts and a fucking oh, sweater I, I, up top. I, oh, I, I, did, I, 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 yeah. oh well, hey, I did the short shorts. I'm not I knew that. No. I'm not going to. You've short testified shorts, no, to that online. Short shorts, on, no on socks that. on your shoes, but I never did the sweater thing. Oh, but you, I, got you, know, the, I you got the toe jam shit in there with no socks and shoes. It's gross. Squish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rocking the boat shoes. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, I grew up in a place where you could do that. There's a whole there's a whole group of people that love that shit. The the yacht rock group, you know, and like it's you know, and that's what they do. I love show. yacht rock. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I, <laughs> but I, they I'm dress not, like that. Those shows. But, you know? but here's the thing: yacht rock is 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 awesome. <laughs> what is and what is what is yacht rock? It's like the best collection of 80s pop music. That you get into Duran Duran, all those. So guys. not I, I related, love Duran Duran. Not related to to Adam Yauk from the Beastie Boys, right? Like we're <laughs> no. it's not it's not no. Yauk Rot. Okay, no. All right, I, I've never heard that term. Yeah, like yeah, they'll, right. they'll, oh, yeah. they'll get they'll get like uh, like four or five bands from the eighties that are you know had like two or three hits and then you know they'll put them. It's like it's all that easy listening, but not quite easy listening. You know, it's just it's in between that and. Uh, so Neil Diamond, yeah, like Neil Diamond would yeah. be a good example, sort of. But yeah, even though he's an older artist, but no, it's, I mean, it's, 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 like, it's, it's like it's, it's that it's that catchy, it's that catchy but relaxed kind of music. And then mm. like it's it's kind of like you know when you go to a Jimmy yeah, Buffett Trees. show and everyone's dressed up as a parrot head. These people be wearing the sailors' hats and the sweaters and shit. You know? it, Matt Matt Treese is saying Doobie Brothers, Steely Dan is Steely Dan. I do not consider Steely Dan I, a yacht rock. I mean, that's no. like. I think that's like, like very frothy Fleetwood. I think of, I, I think mean, of Steely Dan as jazz rock. I mean, I, I guess you could put you could put some Steely some Dan. Steely like Dan. Some, some, of Steely Dan. Is, some of his stuff is it's pretty. Wait, Christopher it's... Cross. So I just sent you guys an Apple Music playlist. It's the Yacht Rock oh, Essentials. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, so you got uh, Toto, Christopher Cross, Doobie Brothers, Steely Dan, and, and with Peg. Yeah, I guess it technically is. Hollow Notes, Kenny Loggins, Hollow Notes, definitely. Yeah, like um, but it's true. Pablo Cruz, <laughs> Crosby, Stills, Bob Pablo Skaggs. Cruz. That's like, what he says in the song. Hey, am I the am I the only one that was shocked when I first saw Christopher Cross? Because you hear this, you heard that song. He looks from like Arthur. shit. No, no, when he first came out, when. He, when it first comes out, you're thinking, okay, yeah, Little River Band's a good one. We have to but understand, no, Chris, but Chris, like Sailing came out and it was hit. Like, Little River hit, Band like, is the year I was born. <laughs> there are five well, songs. <laughs> but that's like, yeah, like there's a, there's a sa- lot. Of sailing was a number one hit in 1980. Oh, Sailing was so good. Come Take me away. away but when we fr- did anyone say Air Supply? Yeah, Johnson. Yeah, Air Supply. Well, but when you first see Christopher Cross. You heard him on the radio for like ever, and then you see him, you go, "Huh, I didn't, I didn't, I wouldn't picture the voice with the guy because he, right. was, a, he was a big, he was a big guy." Same with Terry and, Gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like Boy George when Boy George. I went, "Huh, come on, huh. come on, come on, come on, come on." So there was a, there was a period of time in my Do life you where you really want to hurt me. Yes, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the funniest scenes in, in uh, Wedding Singer. You know, he just keeps playing the same song over and over again. And when he cuts back to him singing it again, you just hear all the people in the crowd just going, you know, die! <laughs> just like throw stuff back and he just keeps singing the song. My wife loves the Little River Band. They have, like I said, so, they have about four or five so, songs. So right? what we've discovered, Jack, is that you are a fucking Yacht Rock fan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I guess that. Apparently I never, John I never, in the chat is also... <laughs> So I never, well, you I did. Never, how can you I, not like it? It's it's fantastic. I never knew that was the I never knew that was a term. I just yeah. just I, I just thought this was the radio station that my dad subjected me to in the eighties when he was farming. So. Air supply. Why do I know that? It's what songs I'm trying to think of I know that I know their songs, but I can't think of one yeah. off the top of my they head. They had a couple hit really high pitch, you know. Yeah, high pitch, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh I love oh, I'm so yeah. lost without, oh, without you. you. That's it. <laughs> and if you've seen Frozen Two, or if you haven't seen Frozen Two, I've not seen Frozen. I've not seen Frozen One all the way through. Okay, there is at least one moment in Frozen Two that I feel like you should see just as an enjoyer of watching eighties ballads, because the main, the main, Chris, you know what I'm talking about, right? Mm, sorry. Does the, does the baby? Do the babies fall in this category? Babies, I mean, it's ba- you know, the babies, Jonathan Wait, uh, Jonathan Kane, because then Jonathan Kane left the babies to go to Journey, and that changed the whole sound right. of Journey. Right, right. Well, I, I mean, it, it's kind of oh, a blend, like because you know, it, it used to be called corporate rock, and it still kind of is kind of called corporate rock. Because like I think of Sticks as corporate rock, but like Sticks could also fit in yacht rock. You know. Dun, 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 what dun, song do you think dun, about dun, from, dun, from uh, Frozen Two? Thank you. Uh, it was Lost in the Woods. So, oh, Lost in the Woods. Yeah. Well, who yeah, sings that? Air Supply. No, well, Jonathan uh, Groff is uh, the is the in Weezer as well. Yes, oh, Weezer. Weezer Weezer does a yeah, Weezer. but uh, the I like the I th- Mary Tyler more. It's it's really worth a watch or a listen to Lost in the Woods because it is an homage to eighties po- power ballads. It is, and you're right as a totally as a person is. that's taking your daughter to watch this movie. Every dad in the audience is like, "Yes, this was worth the price of admission." Yeah. Thank you, thank you for this. This is awesome. So it's funny. It's hilarious. So yeah, we saw we saw a Frozen show at, at Disneyland, and it was funny because they said they were having you sing the song, and they said, "Okay, just the dads." Da, 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 da. It was like, "What's it say? What's the song? How's it go?" Uh, I'm a let it go, let it go. Oh, and then, they, and then they stop, and all the, mm. and it's like, "Okay, like I didn't know any further." We all it just <laughs> all the guys <laughs> stop because we didn't know. Let it go, let it go. And there's that one hard on dad who's just trying yeah. to belt that because that was like his fucking moment. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 you know, the mom or the kid was recording it, and like he was, he was just ready for that yeah. moment. Yeah, and he probably he's up like this. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't and, and then Cindy was like, Jack, sit down. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know the word. I used to sit. I used to think it was let it snow. Let it snow. No, you did not. I swear to God. I swear to God. I go, let it go. I, go, I mean, they're in, they're in I, a frozen land. It kind of makes sense. Yeah, you figure it's ice and it's frozen. She touches things and people I freeze. don't believe like, it. I swear to God. I swear. Why would I, why would I lie about being stupid? 
Because that was literally the most popular song in the universe for a solid year. Yeah, did I listen? Did I? Did I? I didn't watch the movie. I didn't know. I Frozen. Let it. Snow, well, actually, technically, your grandkids were not really of the age. You worked at an ice skating rink. How is this song not on like That's every also fucking true. minute? Yeah. When you work at an ice rink, you learn you learn to tune out the songs because like figure skaters will play the same fucking song over and over and over again. So when you're you're it, when you hear the song, you're like going, I don't hear it. Making love out of nothing at all. That's another good one, Matt. Making love. Oh. That's air supply, right? Yeah, air supply. Mm-hmm. See, see. <laughs> I was paying I could, attention I, in the. 80s. I could, I could be on name that tune. There was, there was this radio station that my dad listened to, uh, back in the day, and, and I swear, like all of these songs that we've mentioned and more, were were on this 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 radio station, and and because my dad farmed, he would leave me in the pickup truck for periods of time, so I would well, just. There's a reason for that. Yeah, I would just kind of listen to the radio, and, and you would sneak off. <laughs> Heard, heard no. the sheep in. <laughs> no, the, we only had sheep for one fucking s- tiny period of my farming life. And I wonder and why that, that and, is. And why was that? Yeah. <laughs> Just, never mind. I tried to try to say one one thing. One thing no, on this fucking I apologize. Show. I apologize. Finish your show. Yeah, whatever. No, fuck Let's it. go ahead and go to a fucking commercial break. Go ahead. Enjoy these fucking commercials. Go ahead. Fine. Do it. Fine. You're no fun. So Sherry in the chat says, I just want to tell Chris, thank you for teaching me the art of knowing when to not respond through this podcast. <laughs> no joke. It's a life skill learned through watching you on this podcast. Yeah, so- sometimes it's just not worth it. <laughs> also, it's, it's, also it's, how to just relentlessly make fun of someone about yeah. something that n- Matt, doesn't even Matt, matter. To Matt, their life. That was Jack. Uh, yeah. That was Jack. Uh, sure, yeah. Go ahead. You keep telling me. Literally, that. the fucking first thing I've said in this podcast <laughs> is this. No. Like, oh God, Jack is the one who just made the sheep joke. I sat there and banged my head against well, the microphone. To be, to, be, to be fair, I think Nick and I both did it at the same time. It's true. Mm, yeah, perhaps. Whatever. But what, right, finish, my point finish, is, finish, finish is it story, wasn't man. fucking me. There was, there was no other. Don't other bundle story. me was, into I'm your done. your no, misery. Your dad's story about I'm not. I'm not. No. Mm-mm. You're I will say today. that my dad did this this really nice sweet thing the other day. It, it just kind of out of the blue. He sent me the equivalent of what a like a like a dad would do like sending a gift card or like a greeting card, you know? Like greeting cards are kind of old now. They're outdated. Like like your dad's not going to be like, oh, "I'm going to buy a greeting card for my son and mail it and tell him what a loving son he is." No, I, I get you yelled at if I don't. You just it. you just look up a meme on Pinterest and you you text your son a meme that says that you're oh. thinking of you, and it was really sweet. I just like I woke I up didn't and know. like I, he had, I, you can do that on Pinterest. I didn't I didn't know. That. Yeah, he found a, a Pinterest you know like image that like just reminded it. It was it was well, that's, really that's pretty hip. That's pretty hip of him. Was it, it was it was really unsolicited. He knew I was going through some shit. What and, was the meme? You know, um. I'll, I'll I'll pull it up here. So Jack knows where I'm going. <laughs> I'm keep I'm keeping quiet. I'm, I'm I'm trying to just share a little bit of my. I life. am going I to whatever. sit here very quietly, oh. only oh. only to wait to get accused of doing something I didn't do. <laughs> he oh he sent me this 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 meme that basically was uh, oh fuck you Pinterest and your fucking bullshit. I can't just read it. Um. It says, to my son, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. Love, Dad. Wow. Yeah, that, that was really... That is nice. Really, really kind of... I don't think my dad ever told me he loved me. Nice. Really? Yeah. I mean, I knew he did, but he, he just wasn't that kind there of... There is uh, this weird stage, though, like, as you as you age his, out of your teen, teen years. Yeah. It's just a given, man. It's just a given. <laughs> Yeah, I've it's, just said, a kid I, it's just understood. It's just understood. How, it was an '80s song, so I, well, I figured he loved unless it. you know, unless you're drunk or in trouble, there's no other way out. There's no need to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I I am making a point of, of letting my kids that, that's nice. Though. I, I I'm glad your dad. Did it, that. it it took me by surprise, and it just did. It, uh, it was it was really sweet because I've been that is nice. So what was the '80s candle. station he used to listen to? Whoa, whoa, out of Toledo. 
W-O-W-O-W-O-W-O. W-O-W-O. Out of Toledo. Out of Toledo. Oh, Toledo. Oh, okay. yeah. Was yeah. Klinger one of the uh, disc jockeys? No. <laughs> no. No, but that was something. I, think, I thought that. they could fly. That was something that, like, uh, growing up, though, no, like, because Toledo was was close to to where we lived in Ohio. Um, it was like, you know, you watched Mash and you knew, like, oh, Jamie Farr was on Mash and he was from Toledo. It was like it was the the local celebrity that you just knew, like, oh, that that's the so. And the and you knew the mudheads, big mudheads. Because, because of, of because of of mash, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But you know, like Sherry giving Chris the compliment of just being quiet, which is rare. Which is Chris. which is probably best for the podcast. Yeah, it, uh, it's like it, last. It, week it, it is hard show. sometimes for me to to not do this in my regular job. I'm sure probably for Chris the same, and Matt because we're both public facing people. Uh, and today I had a four hour demo with a client. And the guy that was running it on the client side was the most driest person I'd ever talked to probably in my life. And we were running a little bit long and we got to the point in the mid where we were going, oh, we're going to take a 15 minute break here, but we're already a little over. So the, the guy that was running it from our side was like, oh, so let's meet back. You know, and instead of making it a 15 minute break, he said 10 minute break. Did he say commercial break? No, he didn't. Say <laughs> you said really, you said really dry. Something. He was really dry, but you know, but he, this guy comes across <laughs> and the, the guy comes across and he just goes, you know, like, no, I'm going to take the full 15 minutes and then like just like cuts it right there. And and then from that point on, just my brain, I wanted to go. That's what she said. You know, like, but you know, <laughs> didn't. And so I had to I had to vent it in the private chat with all my coworkers. And then it just started this long ass string of just because we were all thinking it like. Because I said, like, what who, what is this guy? What's this guy like when he talks to his wife? Like, it's now it's now time for intercourse. I'm gonna take the full 15 minutes. You know, and then slide down. Thank you, please sweetheart. Turn, please turn to chapter three, paragraph four in your man in your sex manual. We will now be you know, like it was just this long thread of just giving this guy shit without us him knowing we were giving him shit. You know? uh, it's kind of like, like us in our private chat. Right. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> nothing to yeah it, it's so uh yeah I, those people are kind of rough to deal with because you, mm -hmm. you if you make a joke and they just look at you and you're like going okay because yeah. i try to i try to be loose and you know relax well that's what i mean you know, like i mean it, it it should be fun you know it, your work should try to be as fun as possible yes you, it is business and you should try to be professional but still have fun with it and when you're all just straight laced like it's like dude lighten up Come on, man. Yeah, it's like when my wife and I were doing the Lamaze. <laughs> Is that and, what you call it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we're she was pregnant. We're doing Lamaze. And I don't know. Whatever what you call it, man. I don't know. We, she was having a scheduled C-section, so I don't know what we're doing Lamaze. I just kept cracking jokes in the back. And because the lady was like, she had really, she had big eyes and she's she was over dramatic. And we almost got thrown out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Of all the things I, to get thrown out of, that's 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 one. I that, wouldn't uh, have cared. But that's like a knows. bucket list kind of thing. Got thrown out of Lamaze class. What you got? You know how bad you got to fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was you know because I you got to drop it. that baby on its head like seven times. Yeah. He said, you got to put the diaper on the face, man. You took got... Jack took the plastic baby and threw it like a fucking football across the room. <laughs> like, ooh, Chargers for the win. <laughs> <laughs> It's in the hole. It's in the hole. That's something we rarely said in the nineties. Oh true, yeah. yeah, in the hole. <laughs> no, char Chargers for the win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's funny. It's funny you all. mentioned like that. Uh, how like how you want to be like this at work? <laughs> yes. I can relate to that so much. You know, in in a in a public you know customer service facing role, um, I very often want. To be me i'm from the <laughs> show but i can't um but I, I did have one situation earlier where long story short Too late. The, the the person in front of me said uh, if you're not going to tell me what i want to hear and give me what i want you to give me then we can stop talking damn wow and i said wow. fuck cool <laughs> 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 yeah yeah 
<laughs> wow. Like I, 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 I actually, like, no, I'm not even joking. It's exactly what happened. And I got, <laughs> they got so mad. But it was worth it. It was so worth it. <sighs> oh, oh man. But it was like, yeah, all right. Right on. <laughs> I remember many, 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 many years ago, um, I was working the skate counter at the rink in La Jolla, and this lady comes up to me and goes, Hey, we're at, you guys are out of toilet paper in the women's bathroom. I said, did you try the hand dryers? <laughs> <laughs> and, she did, and she did not find this funny. And her boyfriend comes up to me. He's like 5'2". Um, so I'm not a big guy. but Wow, so this is a size thing. Okay, we got to yeah, put a so word anyway, on this podcast. He comes up to me and goes, who's the one that said uh, use the hand dryers? I go, I go, well, that was me. I go, I was just joking. He's like, right, right, right. I go, Light up, Francis. Yeah. Like, exactly. I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you said that to one of Jay's girlfriends, though. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, Jay, was around, Jay wasn't even born yet. Okay. <laughs> but it was like, God, I go, people are so, I go, I, I, I said, oh, they must be from the Midwest. I, I'll be honest with you. They, oh, said, okay. they, they must be from the Midwest where they take their toilet paper seriously. And I guess he could hear me. He was like, oh, pissed off. I go, Come on, dude. I go, I'll kill you. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> I don't know. I used to have a lot of fun. I, 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 I'm sure I told the story. I, I told the, the original married man. These girls came up. Do you have a size nine and a half? I go, yes, I do. <laughs> And that's how I left. Of course, nowadays I'd probably get arrested, but back then you, you could say stuff like that, <laughs> but you can't say it. Now. <laughs> well, um, anyway, remember this was the eighties. We were, yeah, well, you're yeah. okay to have fun in the eighties. Spe- speaking of, I, yeah, I, yeah, go I, ahead. I, I, say, I like that kind of humor though, where if someone doesn't follow up, like if, you know, if you're saying something like that, you're like, "Do you have a size nine and a half?" They mean shoe, and you're saying, "Yes, I do." But they need you need to follow up with you know continue the sense. It's like there's a line in um oh they in, laughed they thought it was funny. I go yeah. well it's not really funny. Yeah, it's true. But you know it's like in the movie Arthur, <laughs> you know the 1980 version or 81 version. You know like the, the, uh, the good one. Yeah, the good one. Yeah, the Butler. You know, there's coffee. another one. There's another version. Yeah, they, they made a really crappy remake. Yeah, uh, like uh, about five years ago. Oh okay. Um, huh. what, who played Arthur? Uh, that Russell Brand. Oh, yeah, oh, Helen, oh. Helen, Helen, Helen Mirren was the bummer. Oh, no. I, I, I watched like two yeah, minutes of it. it and said, was, okay, yeah. come on. You can't, you can't beat the original. No, but, uh, it's, but, you know, it's things like I always love the dry British humor because, like, when he's coughing, the butler's coughing, and Liza Miller goes, Oh, that sounds serious. Have you seen a doctor? And he's like, Yes, I have. And he has seen me. You know, like, it's just, I just, yeah. he's answering it in a different way. And I just, I always, well, he was, it. he was the perfect butler. I mean, he was. He's perfect for that role. Yeah. Well, he was perfect because Liza Minnelli's funny. But you also have Dudley Moore, who was hilarious, yeah. feeding off each other. It was just great, mm-hmm. great comedy. It's uh, you know, I'm feeding that off, down. right? Watch, okay. watch, Arthur feeding off. Yeah. To me, the story is like you know that's where I, the the second one. On there the there rocks is a second one on the yeah. rocks. Yeah, on the rocks is terrible because to yeah. me, the story in the first one is not really between Arthur and Liza Minnelli. It's between Arthur and the butler. Yeah, and right. of course, uh, spoiler alert for anyone who's not seen a forty year old movie. You know, the the butler dies. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, but it's just like, and then so there's really nowhere to go after that because that you know, yeah. Well, my favorite line is when he's talking Unless to his you... fiance and he's trying to break up with her. He goes, hey, <laughs> "Arthur, take my hand. That'll leave you with one." <laughs> yeah, there's, there's so many like, there's so many good lines in that. Yeah, it's like uh, in that very. It, early it, it's time. a dad joke, like factory. Just fact, yeah. Yes, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's what's all it is. Yeah. And I was a kid then. Well, was yeah. I a kid then? No. Yeah. Oh, that, that's okay. that's. No, I was good. like night. Well, how, when it came out, eighty one. It's eighty or eighty one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, where's that, where's Matt Trees or uh, or um, Chris Doran? They they would know probably off the top of their head. Yeah. But like, there's so many. Even in that scene on the table, you know, like because you know, same thing. He's like <laughs> after he takes her hand, and he's like, you know, whatever her name was, Karen or something. But like, you're like, you're the only woman. At this table, <laughs> you know, just, just, you know? Uh, and then uh, you know, even how in the early, how have how I not seen this movie in like thirty years? It's so good. Even like in the beginning part, you know, when he has is the same restaurant, but he has the hooker there, you know, and they, they just keep talking, they keep talking, and then he's like, nineteen eighty one, eighty one. Okay, so, so I was nineteen. 
So oh. Jerry's right. I was a teen. Yeah. That's but, also the year that uh, the Muppets ended. Eighty one, really? The okay. Muppet Show. Really? Yeah. I've been I've been on a deep dive of the Muppet Show. Really? Yeah, with my kids. My kids. No, 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 I no. no. I don't talk the fact that you're on a deep dive with the Muppets. I'm, it didn't I'm, go I'm, longer. It didn't. But I mean, there's the movies. Seasons. There's the movies, but the show. Five, but the show itself. The, the really? Muppet Show ran really? from. Guess, guess when it started? I'll just put that out. Seventy four. Sixty five. Seventy six. Seventy six. Ran for five seasons from seventy six to eighty one. I thought in my memory of watching this as a kid, I was like, oh, it went from 1980 to 85 or something like that. That was what it was in my mind. It, or it was 79, in, in, but it actually Rocky, started in 76. It's so. in Rocky IV. The Muppet Show is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, well, yeah. Sylvester Stallone it's, is on. He, he Yeah, so on. that's what they that's what they show. Yeah. And I I know I know that Jim Henson had worked with Lauren Michaels on SNL on the first year. So in 1975, yeah. the first season of SNL has Muppet actual clips. Um, and I think that's probably, I don't know, because I don't know Muppet history. Like I know Star well, Wars history. But... The Muppets, they have a Muppet, they have a Muppet Chevy Chase and a Muppet uh, Richard mm. Pryor doing that one sketch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, in the I'm, initial, I'm that up. The, the initial Muppet show apparently their their plan on the guest host was that at the end each guest host would become a muppet and they oh, would have a muppet really? of that guest host. They did it for the first three, and then they they stopped doing it. I used to watch so. the Muppet Show. I used, I used to oh, like I, I love. I used it. to like the I two mean, guys in the balcony. Mm-hmm. I because, hated them well, as a kid. Because they're cranky. They're cranky. <laughs> yeah. Have you yeah. seen that Saturday Night Live uh, sketch where it was last year that came out? But they're up there and they're getting beat up by. <laughs> <laughs> <There's a plane. laughs> yeah so so um in the chat i was gonna say will says i was born in 82 and i watched the muppet show i didn't realize until recently that it was all reruns yeah same right yeah. same that's I, exactly i it. was today years old when i realized that and and the other thing i was just reading about this is that jim henson wanted to go out on top he wanted it to be at its peak it's like he was doing seinfeld before seinfeld he didn't. Um, so when it ended in this in the fifth season, it was getting the highest ratings that it ever had from the Nielsen's, and it was actually garnering better guests in the first it was couple on Saturday, years. It was on Saturday were, nights, right? They were, I think so. That seems about right. So um, I remember watching it with my family a lot. Um, yeah, I, I loved I loved that show. So Sherry um, says she doesn't remember the Muppets on mm-hmm, SNL, mm-hmm, but she does remember mm-hmm, Mr. Bill. Mm-hmm. Oh, no! <laughs> oh no, Mr. Bill! Uh, if if you if you have Disney Plus, do yourself a favor. Go go through the Muppet Show. Check out the Steve Martin uh, episode. That's a really fun episode, especially because the concept of that episode is that Steve Martin is actually uh, they actually don't have a Muppet Show on that episode. They're they're auditioning uh, new new entertainment, and hmm. Steve oh, is really? just doing his normal bits. Um, and this yeah, goes back to like something. Arrow through his head. Yeah, he starts off with the arrow through his head. But um, this goes back to something that you were saying about like the 80s and a different time. And, and so it does have a warning at the beginning about things that are offensive. And so it almost <laughs> becomes a game with my kids when we watch these because we're like, OK, where's the culturally offensive <laughs> moment? And there's this scene that happens where um, Gonzo is talking about doing a, um, a dancing sequence with cheese. And he he with says what, with that cheap with cheese with cheese yeah and okay, he says right. something about how so that's it's, offensive no 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 oh, just wait for it so there's okay. at some point he mentions something about how it's it's a it's a girl cheese or a female cheese and Kermit is like why does it matter if it's a girl or or he says something like why wouldn't it be a boy cheese or I wasn't thinking that it was a girl cheese and Gonzo says. If it, if I was dancing with male cheese, that would just be weird. Oh! And the joke went over my head. I was like, "Oh, that's just kind of funny because it's just ridiculous anyway. It doesn't matter what gender it is. It's just absurd that you're dancing with cheese." But it was my son <laughs> who was more sensitively sensitive. He was like, "That's that's probably what they're they're you know." And I was like, "Oh yeah, come on, but dad, then, keep up, keep up, dad, yeah, keep up, dad. Come on, wake up." We're all woke over here. You're not. You, you, you could do but, that almost in any movie. 
But it's later in the episode where Steve Martin is doing a banjo routine where he starts singing, okay, in Chinese now. All right. <laughs> and I was like, uh, and so then I turned to my son. I was like, I think that's the that's the one. <laughs> yeah. So we were having kind of like these back and forth moments. So it's a real where's Waldo if you if you go back and watch these. We things. were on It's a Small World, and my da- my daughter, my oldest daughter, goes, "How is this still allowed?" Because it was in the Chinese part, the China mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. They said, "How is this still allowed?" Because the eyes were. I'm, I'm not gonna say it. But it's just like, <laughs> "How is this still a lot a- right. allowed when?" We're just saying it's Mickey Rooney, right? Yeah. 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 Mickey Rooney playing or uh, which is who's the other guy who did it? Um, He did. um, Oh, John did a whole movie where he was a John Wayne. uh, No, he was a Chinese. You just uh, want to bring John Wayne. Wayne. (laughs) John Wayne did it too. Yeah. John Wayne did too. uh, Houston, not Houston. um, He did the whole thing. He was, he was a detective. Oh, Oh, what was his name? Chris, Matt, in the chat. Hollywood, Hollywood was fucked back in the day, man. I mean, mm. can, can you guys allow Chris to speak again? Sure. Um, so <laughs> no I, one's this, kept Chris silent. Just, just be quiet. Just be quiet, Chris. Look, without without no nic- one's without keeping nicotine, him oppressed. Without nicotine, Chris is boring <laughs> as fuck. Yeah, yeah, right. Charlie Chan, <laughs> yes. Charlie so Chan. So what's, yes, what's interesting is it actually does kind of dovetail into uh something I wanted to talk about um this week. And I started listening the to the auto not the autobiography, <laughs> I started listening to the biography of um of Cal Penn, which he just released uh, this week, his book. Um Are You Serious? I think is his name, his name of the book. Um or you can't no. be serious or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um really interesting listen. Right, so he I mean, he narrates his own biography, but a lot of it has to go through, and he talks about like you know you know as being an up and coming actor who's Asian, you know he's, you know his his family's from India, and trying to to kind of get into the whole you know, into Hollywood as an Indian uh, an actor of Indian descent, and how much stereotype is there, and like how he actually mm-hmm. speaks very very you know uh, succinctly and. Um, with no accent, but actually is is very well spoken, and he, he talks about how when he used to go into you know rehears uh, rehearsals, um, uh, auditions. What, what do what do you, what do you go when you go in for like not not an auditions. interview, but audition? Auditions. Thank you, okay. thank you, thank you. Um, so you're saying like how he's like when he goes into auditions and they're all like, can you? You don't have an accent. <laughs> um, can, can, can you speak right. with an accent? And like, it, it kind of went all through all this stuff where like he got into like, you know, kind of like arguments with people, but then he finally got this, his first role, like his first big role, which was Van Wilder. Right. In which he mm. plays a character named Taj oh, Mahal, but right. by the Landa Landa. <laughs> no. And like he, he is, he was going to turn it down at first, but then he realized like how, the actual character of Taj Mahal in Van Wilder was uh, it, they didn't use his accent to kind of take it's away. That's Ryan Phillips, or, right? Or, or Not Ryan Reynolds. Phillips. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds yeah, yeah. Um, and it was, uh, yeah, so it was kind of like it didn't, it was interesting how like that character's like background and this, he didn't take away or diminish from his heritage or anything like that, but it was actually kind of like a, like a, you, you couldn't have had the movie Van Wilder without Taj type mm-hmm. of situation. Well, you, and it goes and it goes into all that type of stuff of like how he had to battle all of these stereotypes in Hollywood, and how he um, his first agent was 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 Candace Cameron's mother, which I thought was kind of interesting. Oh, really? Which, uh, yeah. Um, well, you look you look at a lot of the westerns from the '60s. I mean, you guys probably don't watch them, but the Indians are played by white people who they right. just mm-hmm. color, he, uh, or like the yeah. Mexicans are white people. <laughs> they just and they do some. They had the ridiculous sombrero or, you know, the stupid mustache. And mm-hmm. you, you look at it now, you go, man, that was really racist. But back then it was um, accepted because, like I said, I don't know if you guys watch Bonanza. I do a great hop sing impression, but I can't do it anymore. I mean, even like um, one of my dad's favorite Westerns is McClintock with uh, oh, John, yeah. John Wayne. And Wayne. every every time you see the chief of the Native American tribe, all he says is like, hey, hey where's the whiskey? Every time. And you're just like, yeah. Jeez, like, yeah, mm. yeah. It, it's it, you, it, you watch those old movies and stuff like that. And you go, God, that was fucked up. 
but <laughs> and, that's just the way. And it I was. think the conversation that I've had, at least with my kids, when when we watch these and we 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 kind of point these things out or we find these things, is we say, okay, like this is a this is a, a marker of where we were. And then we can kind of see where we are now, you know, and, and improving those those ways that we look at things. My yeah. wife did bring up a, a valid point, though, about the Swedish chef. Hmm. Why is it OK? That's Chris's favorite character. By make love fun it, of like a s- funny Swedish accent. It's kind of like a. It's just is it because, derby, derby, derby. Yeah. Is it because... <laughs> and I'll well, just... I see why it's Chris's favorite character. Oh, <laughs> speaks, speaks just like him. <laughs> I'll, I'll pose this to you, Jack, since you're Swedish. You know, no. is it? It's a, it's a, no, 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 no. He's Swiss. Whoa, that's pretty. That's pretty racist of you. <laughs> We're not all lumped together. I'm well, Swiss. you're Norwegian, so yeah, no, no, that's no, all no, in the same bullshit. region. That's, I, I'm offended. I'm offended. Okay, well, my wife. I, I don't. I. I. The, I'm the Swedish now. chef is borderline, like, <laughs> kind of like. Uh, we cancel port, Matt, port, but he's the producer. Port, port. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Chris. You were going to say something. Maybe the seventh. Send him in, him in, him in, him in, him in, him in. <laughs> I, but have, uh, but, no, oh, but t- t- hold on. But in, in seriousness, tying it back to that to that book and in the audio book that I'm listening to, it's it's actually a really good listen. Um, I've always admired Cal Penn. I think he, I thought I thought he was funny, and like and, and hearing like the real true backstory to, you know, how he kind of got you know coming out from Jersey to, to UCLA and making his way into LA and, and figuring it all out all the way through being an advisor to Obama and working in the White House. Like, I don't know if you knew that. He was. Yeah, I knew, I knew that. But, uh, and what's actually really interesting is. I thought, is I that, thought he was advising Obama what burger to choose. <laughs> what's really interesting <laughs> is, is that he actually, um, he officially came out of the closet with the release of this book. Hmm. Um, because he kind he just of. He's got was, engaged, right? Uh, he's been engaged. Oh, he's been engaged. Okay. But I, I, I think, but like this, this, the release well, of his ben. book was kind of like, um, well, that's actually his name. <laughs> I'm not even really? shitting you. His, 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 his fiance's name is Ben. Oh, uh, really? oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But uh, um, but uh, well, he's been engaged. It's it's a really good story. Like, it, and I've actually I've really enjoyed listening to him, and um, I'm excited to see what what he's gonna do next. So check it out. It's uh, Cal Penn's "You Can't Be Serious," or I think is the name of this book. Well, he was in that. He was in a movie I, that show where the uh, Oh, what was it? I think you. One of House. you guys kept watching it. No, the the world, the uh, capital was destroyed. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, Disney yeah, Survivor. Survivor. Yeah, he was yeah. in that. He was in that. And that, one of you kept watching it. I don't know. Who yeah, I, I, I did. Like, and, and I think that was. I, I haven't gotten this far in the book yet, but I'm assuming that's probably one of his first bigger bigger roles. You know, post um, Obama, mm-hmm. um, and he played the press secretary, which I thought was kind of. Chris cool. Dorn says uh, Peter Sellers portrayed Charlie Chan like character. I remember that, but it's it's not uh, Peter Houstonoff. No, is that who I'm thinking of? I wish I could remember who it was. But so, but side side note, um, I subsequently got super high last night and watched Van Van Wilder and Harold and Kumar back to back. And I'll tell you, man, I'll tell you, Van Wilder is a fucking great movie. It is um, funny. I, I've been, when did that? I, I haven't seen it since it came almost out. It's twenty years old now. It's twenty years old. It really. It, it. But, yeah. but it's one of those things where like, I used, to, I I love that because the the character of Van Wilder was was it's a National Lampoon's movie. First of all, I think yeah. it's National Lampoon's right. It is. Yeah. Um, and what they did with Van Wilder is it it almost felt like um. It felt like the same vein as Animal House, but the character of Van, you know, Ryan well, Reynolds' it's, character. It's not, as, it's not as good as Animal House. No, no. But the, his character was just this. He wasn't an asshole. Like, like you know what no. I mean? Like, he was actually a really good dude who loved to help people have a good time and find their potential. Which I thought was cool. But doesn't Ryan Reynolds play the same character in every yes. movie? 100%. Much. And he and he nails it every time. So I mean, I, I don't get take me my wrong. money. I, lo- I, I love Ryan Reynolds, but I just did he did, what was the movie he did where he was a waiter or something? waiting. Waiting. Which waiting, is the, yeah. what, which is one of the most true to life fucking movies ever made. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. Like I, I, I watched that movie like. while being a waiter, bartender, and mm-hmm. and, and beer. Didn't he brewer. play the Green Hornet? Was he Green Hornet or Green, the, the Green Lantern? Green Lantern. We, don't, we don't Green Lantern. That movie. Yeah. But, but, he, that, but he plays the same character. Happen. Same character. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I, 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 know I love we, Ryan Reynolds. Don't get me wrong. We've brought up waiting before, and because the, the one scene that I die laughing in every single time is the female like head waitress that she's back there in the kitchen just fucking railing on the chef. People are like get that fucking out, get the order out, blah, blah, blah. and then she walks you know from the kitchen out to the tables, and then like turns to one age like, hey, can I get a refill on that? Blah, yep. blah, blah. It's like because that's exactly <laughs> what it's like, and. I, that that movie, honestly, for those who, who if you haven't watched it yet, um, and furthermore, if you've ever worked in food service and you haven't watched it, you need to to stop what you're doing, like stop listening to us right now and just go watch that whoa, movie. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait till the no, end. No, it gets way way better than than oh. us. No, oh, Matt. Just... I thought I thought Matt got rid of Chris. Like, yeah, like I thought he got. You know what's funny? I thought he got rid of me. What did I say? What did I say? Matt? It's it's it is li- it's one of the funniest movies, and it's also like the most true to life movie about uh, the food service industry. I think it was the first movie I watched with Brian Reynolds. I I said, "Oh my god, I love this movie." It's so good. I don't. It, it is funny. The first one I saw him in is Ben Wilder for me. It probably was Ben he, Wilder. He, he's done. He's done well for himself. Yeah. I mean, even like uh, you know, Miami Mike says that you know you guys don't seen Free Guy, which is is pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's not a classic by any means. I've not seen. Is that Ryan Reynolds? It's, it's Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. It's just way too. Expensive. And it's 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 um he is in a video game like he's a the uh, bat wing says John yes he uh yeah he's just a, he's just a, a character in a video game who actually gains like consciousness and so it's, I have not I have not seen that. It, it's got some some good good stuff in it. Yeah. Chris is just over here laughing at it. <laughs> and I'm laughing at John. I know. John, oh, the Batwing. I make that reference all the time. <laughs> like, I really do. Like, I, whenever I see somebody who who works for me who's, like, leaning up against the table and, like, stretching out, like, with one leg out a little bit further, yep. I'm like, oh, he's detaching the Batwings. <laughs> <laughs> you got you to gotta love anyone almost automatically if they get a movie reference or a TV yeah. reference. and Because you, you just so throw it good. out there. Like, you know, and what I do... Uh, I know Dude, the, the, the worst part about it is the majority of the people who work for me weren't born when that movie fucking came right, out. So right, it's tough, man. It's like, tough. Like, it does. It does suck. Well, try being my age. Try being my age. Yeah. Well, it's like, like and, quoting, like and quoting "Gone with the Wind." Yeah, I mean, I, I I quoted Mr. Mom. I quoted Mr. Mom today, and of course, no one got it. Oh except my god! My boss, you know? What was the quote? Because you know, you know quote? it's it's electrical. So someone oh, said something, and I went twenty one twenty one. Yeah, I said yeah, I said two twenty two twenty one. You know, whatever it takes. Two twenty one. Yeah, you know, and like and like yeah, like you have to get glory. that. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and every flight I've ever been on, every flight from day one, I when I before I step on, I go, "Is there a movie on this flight? A movie." <laughs> So, I mean, most people won't get that, but as we're boarding the plane, I go, I go, is there a movie on this flight? And my daughter, my youngest daughter goes, a movie. Because there's, people, there's, there's so many I, things I, I you can do. Because like, you know. I didn't fly the first time until after Stripes came out. Uh, and I've, yeah. I've said that every time before I board the plane, is there a movie on this flight? Jack, I don't do know you, why. Do you, like movies by, do you like movies about gladiators? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Billy. Yeah. I like my coffee like I like my men. Right, I, I, I use that all the time. I, I have I said that, that so many times, and like, there's, there is, a, it's basically people that are just a little bit younger than than uh, Chris and I uh, that do not get that joke at all. Mm. You know, get- and I've said that, like, you know, people are like, oh, like, like, oh, I'm gonna get you some coffee. You have you want? They're like, oh, I just take it black. I'm like, oh, like your men, and then they're just looking at me like, oh my god, you're so rude. I'm like, <laughs> the fuck. Yeah, my my oldest daughter. I used to yeah, that'll get you fired, dude. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like movie quotes that'll get you fired. Yeah. Since my be... kids were young, I made breakfast every sun every Sunday morning, and so I, the kids were like, I don't know, they weren't very old, and I said, they said, ooh, the bacon's, because my wife likes her bacon burnt. And I said, I said, your mom likes her bacon like she likes her men. And they go burnt. <laughs> <laughs> I go, yes. Yep. Yep. 
does that because you can't say it anymore, you can't, oh, right? R- r- random, random tangent. Uh, I bought a, an air fryer. Oh, nice. Oh, it's the best. Does it change your life? Ah, uh, dude, I, I've been using it for everything. I mean, I mean, yeah. so the one I bought was a um, it's by Ninja, and it's a yeah, the Ninja is uh, a good one. Yeah, it's a combination <laughs> of an air fryer, pressure cooker. Um, and everything really? and like slow cooker, yeah. So it actually comes well, I, I with, think, a, with a, well, that's a cool. pressure cooker lid. So I have really? an instant pot. I have a toaster oven, which is on its way out. Instant and pot ha- is I, good for you. You getting paid to I, say this? And I and I, and I, and I also have a uh... pot. Shit! <laughs> now! Ah! Now! Now! Wait! Give me a give me a joint. Um, I don't need a dealer. It's instant no. pot. <laughs> so I, I I had an instant pot and I had a slow cooker and I had a toaster oven. The toaster oven's on its way out, and everything else just takes up too much goddamn space. And I've always wanted to have an air fryer, so I, I got this one that does who, it all. Who doesn't want an air fryer? I'm all out of fries. What's funny though? <laughs> what's funny though is that this whole air fryer it's a, it's a complete yeah, fad right now. I went back to the start. It's it's yeah, all no, kind of bullshit. You. It's all kind of bullshit because all an air fryer is is a convection oven. Yeah. So oh. it's a convection oven, but yeah. with a basket. Yeah, you know. Yeah, oh, well, uh, fuck. yeah. I'm gonna, I do feel like we've got an air well, fryer now. That's a spoiler alert. You just ruined yeah. my air fryer. But they're awesome. Yeah, I, I, awesome. I, they're I, I, I the, the functionality mm-hmm. of having I, I, a basket I, makes things a lot easier, though. So yeah, I still like. The, I still like. The, I, I don't have one, but I still like the old oil fryer. Yeah, the oil There's fryer. The fry, the, you know, the oil, the, the, the where you put the fries in the oil. And... You put the lotion in the basket. Yeah. Tonight, the tonight, I made, I made what the fuck fucking, are you eating? I made turkey meatballs, and they're fantastic. Put them right in the air fryer. Boom, bang. Uh, no, wait. We got to go back to the lotion in the air fryer. What the fuck are you eating? At? The lotion in the basket. It was just a, you know, I was going off of what you guys were talking about. The sounds know? of the sheep. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> no, the lotion in the basket. It's the. the... There's, Never mind. there's your title of the episode. <laughs> This is what I get for just focusing on, on working on patron names. So hey, I just want that to know that was Nick alone. He had no help with that one. That was Nick alone. No Jack. No but Chris. it's going to be my fucking fault somehow. <laughs> I've never blamed you. <laughs> you know, it's been two weeks since I've really been on this show. I missed you guys. I'm just going to say that right now. I missed you. Oh, well, we thought you about did, you. You did see us for a few minutes. We did. Week. We thought about I you. Did, I did jump in when I was... I don't, uh, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say we oh. missed you. But Jack still likes frying eggs in the, high, in the 40s. All right. I've never fried an egg. Uh, okay. I, I, grew up, I grew up in San Diego. never got hot enough to grow, fry an egg on a sidewalk. Um, my... <laughs> I just want to say, like, allegedly someone I know... That maybe I work with because I only work with one other person. <laughs> <laughs> Decided that like Aaron they were they were going to boil an egg using the coffee pot. <laughs> they put like two eggs in the coffee maker and just mm-hmm. let it simmer for a really long time to hard boil those eggs. I guess you could do it that way. I mean, it work. It, it probably yeah. worked, right? I was like, "What are we hobos?" Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I, the fuck? Or it's that, a container. It or is that, is that is that going? It's thinking outside the box. Oh. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe it's also thinking like, I don't know. Maybe you poison your stomach. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't fuck around with that shit. Like. I boil but, that but, shit. But like, you worry about the caffeine getting in there? And, no, 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 no. Not the he's caffeine, vegetarian and he doesn't want the, the potential of having. You know, I'm not and, vegetarian uh, anymore, right? I did not know that. Yeah. I, I, did you, not, I knew I, that you occasionally wait, 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 ate wait, meat. Wait, I knew that you wait, occasionally wait, ate meat. I know you. I haven't went occasionally. Up. When did this happen? I yeah. haven't occasionally ate meat, and okay. I, so I, was a vegeta- I was a vegetarian group. from 2011 and whoa, 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 what happened to the car? 2020 the brother who was not named Marty. 2020, 2020. That's too many. 2020, 2020. 2020. Whatever the fuck COVID happened, it like broke so, us so, as a family. So, so, so you're no longer. I I did not know that. I thought you were vegetarian. I well, I was for a very long time, and then COVID broke my wife, and then that broke me. So. Yeah. 
I mean, she so started right. making that's, stakes, and I was like, so, oh, so right, well, I, I mean, so you, you, went, you went head first. You, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not like, like we're not fucking so, around so with this, like, so you ain't bullshit, Mouser. okay? And by the way, <laughs> it's that bastard Mouser who ripped off my nose. <laughs> By the way, like I'm, I'm still not a fan of chicken. It's okay. That's the it's, it's Saigon okay. whore that bit <laughs> off my nose. It's okay to eat pussy. It's okay. I'm not, not that type of pussy. So Nick got very that much. Joke. I did. I got a hairball. I got what you got. I got a hairball. I'm getting, I'm, I'm like getting what you throw. Dude, honest to God. Okay, so. <laughs> We're going back to the late '90s, early 2000s movies again. Like, oh no, I Dirty Work. About my vegetarianism. Dirty man. Work is a fucking fantastic movie. Who's yeah. in that? Who's in Dirty Work? That was Norm Macdonald. Norm Macdonald. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a solid and Artie movie. Lang. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Artie, Artie Lang. 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 Yeah. Sands, but yeah, he had a different. Right. He had a different nose then. Yeah, yeah. Artie Lang. He Artie Lang had a nose. <laughs> oh, because have you seen him after his cocaine experience? Yeah. He's got a kids. Flat face. <laughs> uh, but Chris, do, Chris Farley was in that drugs. movie for a hot second, and yep. it was uh, fucking unbelievable. It's actually I've probably one that. of his most I, memorable roles. I think I've seen that movie. <laughs> you know, like you well, have. Be, if you, if the, you it, haven't, it, you need to go back and check it. It's better than the movie before you, you watch our where, where they were. Yeah, yeah almost that. heroes. Almost heroes. Yeah, that movie. I I couldn't wait to see that movie. I thought it was John Candy's movie. This oh no, John Candy had good movies, but he had some bad ones. Well, that's, yeah. that's what's funny is that you know both of those guys you know went out on a stinker, you know, because you have uh, John mm-hmm. Candy's last film was Egg Wagons East. Yes, I think yeah. that's why I always confuse it with with and, uh, yeah, and almost Chris heroes Farley's. was Chris yeah. Farley's was you know, and they're both just mm. it killed them. <laughs> well, that's just you know, it's just it's the same as with all those it, kind of you know, really if they only had an air fryer. True. Yeah. Shit, I had so many points, and we've gone on so many different. Things. <laughs> okay, 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 go ahead. You can fucking go ahead, cook Nick. anything. No, in I there. don't remember them because we've gone on so many different. No, listen all you out. Get, get them you all can get out. Instant pot. Oh, sure. Right, well, I, I saw your your advice about the everything but the bagel spice. I'll have to try that out. Uh, bagel spice. What? Wait, where was that? It was on a. Moving on up. There it is, Chris. Yeah. Who sings that song? I have no idea. Um, Winona from Good Times. Oh really? Oh okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, and you too, Winona. The oh, so in the kitchen. one thing. One thing I want to bring up. Did anyone, don't did, burn on the grill. Did anyone Thanks, watch man. Tom Hanks' new film on? I did Apple not, TV? but I want no. to. Okay. I, okay. It's I where he not. plays somebody. I, uh, it's now. It's 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 basically to me. Even from the previews, I went. You saw him befriend a beach ball. Now see him befriend a robot. Like <laughs> <it's kind> right. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Yeah. Robot! yeah. Robot! And and anyway, it's it's good. It's cute. It's got a cute. You know, it's oh, but you, Finch. You lost, you, Finch. You that's lost, it. Finch. You, you lost me at cute. Yeah. It's 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 you okay. It's cute. not a classic by any means, but it's it's you, worth watching. You lost Chris at words. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said you lost Chris at words. Wait, I'm keeping quiet so I don't get in trouble. <laughs> there. there <laughs> Me, me just being say me just, another thing. Me just being a geography person because like the, they're Matt. they're on they're on a journey from. I am a robot. <laughs> they start somewhere in the Midwest. Uh, <laughs> this guy. Never mind. Chris, I'm like, listening I'm, to you, Nick. Wait, yeah. wait, I'm, I'm so not. fucked up. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey man, I just showed up. What's going you know what? on? I used to put, smoke pot nonstop when you were doing the puffer thing, man. I was sorry, guys. I was too busy <laughs> listening to Dave Matthews Band. I was listening to yacht music. Whatever I'm, it's called. I'm, I'm not making fun of Chris. <laughs> I, yeah. I, 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 it felt personal to me for Chris. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. I need to go get another beer. Ah. Uh, Sherry, this is another example of when just not saying anything at all. <laughs> because you have nothing. It doesn't win points, though. It doesn't win points at all. No. He likes the red it just makes, the it makes me want to poke the bear more. You know? Who, me? Poke? Yeah, like, poke. you know, we got to get a reaction out of this person. He's just sitting there quietly, like all zen. <laughs> Fuck your zen. <laughs> that is, I that is, I was, I was waiting to way way hear your review about Fitch. Or yes, go ahead. Fuck it is. Go ahead. Yeah. We want to hear it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was expecting from Matt. There. Like, yeah, I don't care. Do no, that thing you do, bitch. I, it, it's. 
it's it's you lost good. I, I give it like a B minus. You know, it's it's not a it's 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 got some good parts to it and some where you're kind of like oh that could have been developed a little bit more you know have you seen have. that have you seen the movie with um Clint Eastwood cry mercy for me or whatever it's called no the newest one he did or or yeah, cry, cry macho was, cry macho no i didn't cry see macho it. i i've not seen yeah. it and i i've probably seen every Clint Eastwood movie out there but i've not seen cry macho yeah i think my parents saw it they were like yeah it's just okay i i i just haven't heard i just haven't seen a review and i haven't had time to watch it so, well, I, it's like I didn't go see uh, uh, the new Marvel film because it's down to forty two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, damn, like, that's that's what with Selma Hayek and um, yeah. everybody else. Uh, the it, it's uh, Eternals. That's it. Yeah, Eternals. Yeah, yeah Chris has got there and his title there. <laughs> I thought I thought it was floating Fat Man. That was a combination okay, of of Ethereum and Eternals. Ethereum, yeah. Uh, yeah. I saw what Eternals is- and I don't I don't I can't justify a forty three percent. I thought it was yeah. pretty fucking good. Okay. Well, like the two people I know who saw it when it the uh, premiered in LA said that both of their reviews were exactly the same is that it's too many characters and to, to introduce as well as their powers that sucks up like half the film. Uh, and Fair. it's not bad. It's just the plot is just too thin because of all these characters, but it's not a bad movie. Um, and I was like, okay, I get that. Actually, I, I quite enjoyed it. Okay. Oh my god, yeah, it's got a 46% from the uh, what's, and 80 what's flo- for what's, audience, audience. Yeah, it, that's what's actually floating- got 43 the other day, so it's gone up a little bit. What's floating fat man? I, I, so, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Before, before we move on to floating fat man, like, like <laughs> a couple of uh, I don't think we could pass that. A couple of really cool uh, things about this movie, though, with uh, with Eternals is, is it did two, some Hayek. yep, um, but two big firsts for the Marvel universe and um. For superheroes, really, uh, well, it had the f- Hayek. Nope. So it had the <laughs> um, the first uh, openly gay um, same sex um, uh, superhero. superhero? Yep. Really, and Played the by... first uh, the dude. Believe it or not, the dude who was Paperboy from Atlanta, the show Atlanta. I forgot his name. Um, oh, oh, oh! The 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 guy that was always the big filmed. black dude. Oh, the big oh, the rap singer. Yeah, what's his name? He's um a paperboy. Um, um, Brian Tyree Henry. When is that show coming back? I don't know. Anyways, so he he plays the first um openly gay superhero, which I thought is is, is actually fucking pretty rad. Well, and that's good also, because it, that gives him some range in his acting ability. Apparently, he's been in a ton of shit. This, I actually had his page up earlier. Uh, I, was, I was trying to look up some information about the cast. Um, but in addition to that, they also have the first, um, (laughs) (laughs) they also had, um, the first, um, deaf superhero on screen. Yeah. Um, (laughs) and it's actually played, played by by Nick, um, (laughs) not played by Nick, but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make light of it, but. Seriously though, it was pretty funny when you said it. He's got oh, he's hey. got his, he's got mute on. He's ordering a pizza. I don't think they delivered to his house. He I have internet. think that's a prostitute. <laughs> he's ordering a prostitute. <laughs> no, I want it. I want it to be ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to wear a rebel flag. <laughs> this is giving me the like dad look. Like I wouldn't push that. Don't. Okay, I want I want a prostitute, but she has to wear a Confederate uniform. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, look, it it can be old glory up top, but it needs to be southern border down below. Do you have okay? anything that looks like the General Lee? I mean, I mean the general, not the car. <laughs> I'd go with Jefferson Davis. So the thing I wanted to mention was that not only did it have the first openly gay superhero, they also have the first deaf superhero, which is also played by a deaf actress, which kind of goes back into the whole conversation we had before about, you know, pulling, you know, pulling the curtain back on Hollywood and, and, you know, with either with race or with abilities or whatever. I think it's awesome that they did that. So kudos to Marvel for, uh, for, well, do you think, you think Hollywood, okay, here's, I'm, I'm, I'm asking a serious question. And this this show is about I'm serious. Do you think it's necessary that the person that the actor or actress that plays that part is deaf, or is just a good thing that they did that? 
It might well, it might bring a, yeah. an element of realism. I mean, well, I don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I would think that somebody that would because because you see actors all the time where people go, okay, they're not really deaf. They're not really. You see all all the time. I go, what what point do we say okay they're acting? I get the part where back in the sixties where people were not Indian or not Mexican where they were painted, you know, I heavy makeup. But nowadays it's just like okay you're not this you're not that. Where where do we stop it? Well, I, 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 I hear you're saying, but I think there's also like, like a real fucking beauty to having it be real. Yeah. But in, you know in, I mean? in, in but in movies, I mean, I have no problem with it. But I'm saying, in like Mary Matlin, is it Mary Matlin? Yeah, I, I was just, I was just try, uh, trying to pull up her show. Um, she actually has a new show on on Apple TV right now, as well. Nobody watches The Walking Dead anymore, Matt. <clears throat> just get let it go. Marley Matlin, uh, who is very well known for her time on on the West, West Wing. Wing. Yes. Now that was my dad wanting to know how to make a connection in Venmo. <laughs> that totally makes sense. I was like, "No, yeah, looks like he's directing someone that doesn't know technology." Matt, Matt, and that's Matt, exactly what he's like, he's like, "How how do I connect with someone on Venmo?" I was like, "Okay, on their profile, you have a little yeah. QR code. You can either send their name." Blah, blah, blah. He's like, "I don't know." Do it. Well, hey, let me tell you, Matt. I mean, so, uh, Nick, Matt was saying that you were ordering a prostitute that looked like Jefferson Davis. That's okay. <laughs> I was thinking that it was going to be an Asian looking person why does that have to be an asian person i well that's your preference. i think i that's think we should stuck with jeff hold on that i think we should stuck with jefferson davis and blade safe but she was also going to be wearing some confederate bikini bottoms because that's like, Mar- how you like Mar- to go down okay so jokes on you the confederates are usually on the top because you have two x's there on the dirty spots so. Oh, okay. <laughs> the or, or would crosses. you do Mary Todd Lincoln? That's, I think that's what. Now nah, she's doing. nuts. No, you need to have old girl glory up here. You know what I mean? Like the the original thirteen. The Sorry, original thirteen. 13 call me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Circles. And glory, stars. glory, hallelujah! This show's going. Anyway, going, go, going so, back so to the, the, back the example. The yeah. So the example I was I was I wanted to bring up is that Marley Matlin actually has a movie out now on apple tv called coda and coda is uh an acronym for a child of deaf adults so the movie is about this girl who's growing up in a family where she is she can hear but both of her parents are deaf and it's like right. um it's supposed i haven't watched it yet but it's supposed to be really really good um, she's a tre- she's a tremendous actress i'm i'm i'm, I'm trying yeah. to be serious here though i'm so, at what point do we say okay you can't go for that because you're not that you know, I get, I get that the, the people we need to. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I, sometimes I think I go, God, really? They're they're complaining about that? Because well, actors, but, but because here's the actors, thing: because actors and actresses are playing characters. Fair, fair. But, but here, here, how about this? Like, I mean, this goes back to the same Cal Penn discussion from his biography, right? So, like, they're like he was going into auditions for a role that was supposed to be of an Indian man, but he was getting beat out by white dudes. No, mm. that 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 is wrong. I'm I'm saying. So, how is that any different than a, a, right. a deaf actor or actress going for a role of a fucking deaf person and getting beat out by someone who can hear? But it's acting. No, I mean, I, it's the I, same. Yeah, but, thing. but see, I, white, I, I, I think it's a, like not be playing someone from uh, from India. A white, like, say, okay, you're oh, like, look at here. I'm going from a guy. I'm gonna go play Gandhi. I Ben Kingsley is half white. I I think it actually goes hand in hand okay, because but, the, uh, they, there's an actual physical, there's an actual physical aspect of the person that has changed that that makes them unique for the part. A deaf person playing a deaf person is going to bring something else to the table that that someone who hears doesn't. I mean, it's just, you know, okay, they've been about, through what about it. Children who's you know? playing, like you have people play people who have autism. I mean, should should not that actor be, because it, you're, I think you're limiting the role. Wait, what, what was the question? Huh? What was your question? Yeah, I didn't hear what you're, the, the, the point you're making. I'm saying, let's say, like, like the good doctor. I don't watch the show, but the, the, the main character has autism. But he has, in real life, he doesn't have autism. But he's playing an autistic doctor. Should he not be playing I, that part? 
Right, but I mean, no, I, I, I think that's in some ways what, bringing oh, awareness what? to autism. Um, but you can't. You, but see, at some point, you have to say, okay, you can only play this part. You can only put like. Uh, I don't think anybody see- said that this person like has to be cast as a deaf like person because, because no one's watching the, the good doctor. I'm just I'm just pointing out at certain points. I go at what point do you say okay, we have to let the actors. Because again, I get the whole like I said, going back to this earlier, like I said, yeah, you shouldn't have a white guy playing someone from India. You know, you put makeup on, like you said, you put makeup on me and make me look like I'm from India. That's stupid. That's ridiculous. You should cast someone who's from India to play someone in India. But I a certain like it, you, you would like so if someone is gay character you can't have a straight person playing a gay, gay character okay but see that's a little different than than, than it's, somebody it's, that's I, I don't i don't, th- I don't think it is okay but that could I, I don't even know what we're arguing about here i don't know either <laughs> or <laughs> i'm just, but I'm just I, saying, I do at, think... at what point at what point do we say okay actors we should allow actors to be actors well but there should be a again again i I'm kind of in the middle here. I, I think, I think yeah. with politics. Yeah, I, I think the argument, I mean, I, I I get both sides of that argument and that, you know, an actor is an actor and they should be allowed to, if they're an artist, you yes. know, do the role. But I also get it from, it's like, oh, we're a very, sl- it's kind of like what uh, uh, Chris was saying earlier about, you know, uh, I forget his name, uh, the Indian actor. Cal, Cal Penn. Ew. Yeah, Cal, Cal Penn. Cal. He it's has like, you know, there's such a, uh, a, a minority within the acting community with a lot of things like deaf people, autistic people, whatever you want to say. It's like, why cast this person when we already have people that can do the role? And so that's, that's usually when the pushback, it's usually from that. It's like, Oh, we're a small community. Utilize us, you know, for this role. It's like, yeah, or any other. But what if the best person for the part isn't, no, I get that too. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm. I, I'm just. I get. I get both. I'm kind of like on the fence on it. Okay. I get it. One. One thing that that my my wife has taught me, uh, is that representation Matt, matters. Do whatever I say. No, representation matters. Representation matters as far as like seeing people in those roles for those people. Um, to you know that we're moving forward, you know, and that that you're not. Do, you know, making the mistakes that we have in the past, you know, by drinking too many beers and recording a podcast live. Would you have one for commercial break? <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> Anyone can play your part, Matt. That's true. Is that, That's is that fair. What you're yeah. High five. Mm-hmm. That felt like a dirty <laughs> high five. I'm just saying that representation matters, though, and and to I, know I, that there's there's an actor, an actress out there who's deaf that's playing the part of a deaf person, like yeah, that's I'm, I'm all for it. Like they so. should actually cast Southerners to play Southerners in movies, but now they get people with terrible accents, you know, and British people, and British people. That's actually one of the best SNL sketches that you rarely see is uh, Colin Firth on SNL trying to play a southerner and he's like it's the dream of every british actor to play a southerner and he can't do the southern <laughs> accent and it's atrocious <laughs> and it's so funny <laughs> what are the people on snl that were doing the california thing oh, oh right, yeah, right, the yeah. final five yeah. they, they, they yeah. were not from california i was offended i'm sorry um, I'm just, neither, I'm just neither saying. are you, Jack. You're from Pennsylvania. And Sweden, whoa. too. Whoa. <laughs> Sweden. Whoa. Yeah. You came to Pennsylvania by, not, from, it's from it's Sweden, Sweden by way of Pennsylvania. It, 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 it's can, not he, fucking Sweden, he, Matt. He imagine he, can, he, can, he came to fucking Pennsylvania going, I don't know I'm Jack from uh, probably. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm from Sweden. I don't know Matt thinks anyone's from Sweden. When they got to Ellis Island, they were like, what is he saying? Black filter. Get the fuck out of here. I, I had this conversation <laughs> over the weekend. My people did not go to Ellis Island because they came here in 1700. They went straight to Pennsylvania from Switzerland, Matt. Not Sweden, Switzerland. Okay, representation matters. You know, we had the Swiss Army Knights and we're always peaceful. Uh huh. Stabbing people. We don't, we don't fucking start wars. Tank. 
tiny knife that's just going to break off and inside somebody. Like oh, I'd a big cut shoot. your hair with that little scissor, and I have a toothpick. What do you think of that, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> well, on like, that note, but let's no, go ahead no, and I got, I got, I got I, a toothpick I, I, and a wine opener on my knife. What look, you got? Just because Nick wants to fuck someone who looks like Jeffers and Davis. I don't think we need to do this conversation. <laughs> Asian, you like you like the little goatee? Davis, the little goatee, man. It's got something to grab a hold of. I was once president <laughs> of the Confederacy. No one cares. Jefferson Davis. Move on. Move on. <laughs> Secretary of the Navy, too. Yeah, but let's start a guerrilla war. Nope, nope. We're done. We've lost. We're out of here. They burned everything from head to toe. We need to move on. No, but I'm serious. I go back to the acting thing. I just I, I get it, but I don't get it. Anyway. Oh, that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we're I'll move on. I'll move on. I'm just how how do you really feel though about the World Series? I was glad the Braves won. I'm yeah. I'm a ha- I, I was happy the Braves won. I mean, because I, I, Ast- I, I was happy the Astros lost. Can we stop saying the Astros calling them cheaters? Because it, obviously they those, those guys have talent. Right, should we say that? I mean, Chris, I'm obviously you're you're on. You're, sure, you probably yeah, can't. Sure. You, they, they you probably lost. can't say anything because you're a Patriots fan. I mean, the, well, Chargers, because the Chargers clearly have talent. In, in, our, in our coach, no, was, was involved in the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Alex Cora is our coach. Alex Cora. No, I'm saying about the, <laughs> I'm saying about the Patriots and the, their cheating scandal. But oh god, fucking. But they, things, things that Jack won't let die. I've got nope. a top ten There's list here, ready to go, <laughs> guys. Are you ready? There's a bunch of them. Uh, it's mainly just directed at me. Um, I have it's never. It's not always sheep. all about. It's always. I all, did not wear blue you, jeans. It's it's always about. Me. You, you did wear, wear blue jeans. jeans. You did wear blue. You had blue jeans on underneath my snow overall. You still wear blue I had, jeans. Okay. Yeah. You sure. You can't say you didn't wear blue jeans. And by the way, by the way, they were insulated, Chris. They were fucking insulated. How's Chris getting dragged into this? No idea. Because <laughs> no you, fucking you, clue. You but you know what? Okay. You know what, man? Okay. You texted Wait, the group. You will always be forever in blue jeans, my friend. You texted the group, making fun of me. <laughs> it hurt we so bad. I was so sad. But no, well, these do look like blue jeans. I was making a recommendation. Is what I was doing. Yeah, they're like. <laughs> That's true. In the movie it was a product. That, they're actually on oh. sale right now. They're like eighty nine dollars. Thermal. All right. Are they are they stretchy? Are they stretchy jeans? <laughs> oh wait. In the movie I love, of I love Matt, that in my size. Oh, they in do the movie have of Matt, my size. The life story of Matt. Who yeah. plays Matt? Because does it have to be someone like Matt? No, nah, it's or probably we, Matthew McConaughey. Or can we get someone talented? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I see what you, you did really there. want, Matthew. You think Matthew McConaughey is going to play you? Yeah. Uh huh. Because it's all right, all right, right. the same name. This, it's I'm, the Matthew. I'm going down thing. this hill in my jeans. Mm-hmm. It, it's gonna be the it's gonna be the Lincoln spokesman Matthew McConaughey version, just rolling the booger, you know, in his hand. Oh just, yeah. You know. Well, who great. plays you, Nick? Who plays you in your life story? Matt Damon. Matt Damon, really? I don't know. He's got he's got a he's got a New England accent. I don't think he. That's true. Play, that's who Chris. That's who plays Chris. That's true. Yeah. Who, well, who plays? Okay, Chris, who plays you in your your life story? I'm Matt Damon. <laughs> uh, Jack's clearly Strickland. Personally, I, <laughs> personally, I like Jim Carrey because he's got that rubber face. You know, he can make a lot of expressions. Oh, and, all yeah. right, then. Yeah. <laughs> my, but my yeah, I, I, my sister thinks I look like Jim Carrey. I'm like a. Really? Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah. Nope, I don't see I don't that at all. It. I don't. I don't get it either. Yeah, but I. But again, I don't wear blue jeans while I'm sweating. So I've got these patron <laughs> names already. John says Bill go. Burr could play me. Yeah, yeah, uh, you, you yeah, can do that. one. Mm-hmm. Have you guys, I, I I've that. really gotten into because of you, Chris. I've really gotten into Bill Burr. I yeah. watch his. I, you, you watch F is for he, family because, because he has no filter. No, yeah, no filter. You you need to watch F is for family. I it's will watch fucking it. Fucking fantastic! I've been watching a lot. Is he of on there? Right. Well, yeah, it's it's a cartoon. It's um, talking... right, right, right. No, he's, I know, but the, I've he's never the main character. Oh, okay. I've never clicked on it. It's been oh, recommended it's... to me multiple. There's times a sketch he does like, about so on YouTube about um about what's it about um because his wife is African American, mm-hmm. and she says, "You guys are taking over this." He goes, "What about skateboarding?" <laughs> <laughs> 
I forget what you what was he she was saying he was saying something about uh oh Elvis. You know he stole Actually, that from, from sorry. black people and he's like going, Oh what what about skateboarding? <laughs> Actually Which, I think uh, oh, go ahead. To answer your question about who would play me, sorry, I just uh made me think about it. Matt Damon years ago, maybe, but now Where did people, you get I don't get I don't, it's because people told me Matt Damon a long time ago when he was younger and he was still skinny. Um but now people are saying the uh, what's his name Quaid from the Boys is they're like you look like mm. like that guy and I'm like okay the Boys fuck yeah Jack Quaid is Jack you Quaid. No, no doubt yeah. no oh Jack Quaid doubt. Yeah, Jack, you know what boom all day long I, I, I think you're right yeah who is Jack Dennis Quaid's Quaid. uh, son yeah it Jack is. Quaid yeah definitely I'm 100 well, percent all right oh yeah, uh, yeah I could see that but mm-hmm. he, but he can't play you he wasn't born in the South. Yeah, he he's, born in he's, he's an young. actor, Jack. You know, no, 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 no. He's got to be born in the same state. <laughs> That's the same state necessarily. <laughs> Randy Quaid. What? Yeah. When, Randy. when did wait, when wait, did wait, actually wait, wait. Randy actually join in? Wait, the Randy chat? was like, at a play, wasn't he? I, wasn't yeah, Randy on Broadway? Was like watching to show up. Yeah. Lincoln get shot or something. It's like a bad like penny. Yeah. He just always shows up. He was at Ford Theater, wasn't he? <laughs> duck, duck, Abraham, duck. <laughs> uh, no. Four score. Ah. Is, uh, have y'all started watching the new season of Kirby Enthusiasm? I have not because I'm still watching season eight. Should oh I God, watch you're, it? You're, you're, you're way behind. Yeah. No, no. I, I, I'm not oh, watching. the one episode with John Hamm. Yeah. I mean, he's, oh, actually, he's in another season too. Yeah. But yeah, those are good. Season two. No, it's, he's in yeah. another season two, not as in two. But it's not season two. It's like season 11, isn't it? We're in, currently in season eleven. Yes. Oh, I didn't see this. Uh, Randy uh, sent us an email. He did actually. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, as well, the second one's when you need to read the joke. But hold on. Uh, yeah, like I love uh, the third episode came out Sunday, and I, I there's one point that they make in it that I loved in Kirby Enthusiasm. It was talking about uh, the importance of seating at a at a, at a table for like a a, a group dinner. Mm-hmm. It's like who's in the middle? The people in the middle have to be like the conversation uh, referees. It's like because if you have oh, two that, people, that, if you have that two that are, true. if you have two people that are boring in the middle, then the people on the wings don't ever talk because it's like you don't yell. So it's like you have to have two people that are like bringing up great conversations that huh. s- that spin so, and, so, and the, so what you're saying is you never want to have Matt and Chris in the middle. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, well, Chris and I are solid. High five. And, we could do our own Everybody podcast did. together. Yeah, it'd be called Silent Night. <laughs> no, it'd be called Franklin Boy. It'd be called Boring Night. <laughs> Franklin Boy. Boring. Hey, let's do a podcast about nothing. This is one of those moments where I also choose uh, to not say anything. <laughs> and that's why half the podcast would, well, actually more than half would just be me trying to get Chris to say something. Hey, it, hey, it, it, hey, so Chris, what'd you do this I week? Can't, I can't say anything because people will be offended. <laughs> Everybody's just if that, offended was, if that was the case, Jack, you would never be able to podcast. <laughs> no wonder what? you're not on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on Twitter, but I have nobody following me. <laughs> Nobody's home. I wish you 5,300. No. <laughs> I, wait, I can't huh. sing that song. She's a bass. I was born <laughs> nice. <laughs> Trouble I see. see nobody knows <laughs> my sorrow. Uh, there's somebody like funny. She doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't look Druish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you see the word they're making a history of the world part two? And we talked about it. A we weeks. talked about that. Yeah. Welcome back oh, to fuck the show, off. Jack. I wasn't here. Fuck yeah, off. you were. The the part of Jack is being played by an old man, Jack, tonight, just to get a whole authentic kind of flavor of that. Like, did we talk about this? Hey, huh? <laughs> where did we? Did you guys yeah, hear about the new Mel Bricks? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> All I heard was, "Oh, he's dead." <laughs> oh, oh, he's <laughs> dead. I'm saying William Brentford. What? I can't say his name. <laughs> Speaking of dead, though, Dean Stockwell, we learned about. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was I didn't really know he sad. died on Saturday. I don't think they made it public until until Chris uh, had to say, "Fuck you, Dick." He died Saturday. Welcome to the party. Am wow. I right? Did, did Chris say that? 
Well, nope. yeah, but Chris also didn't know that some actor he loved died in the 2000s. So, you know, I mean, who, yeah, who was that? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> the impact. That's uh, I'm, I'm pl- the part of Matt remembering is played by drunken Matt tonight. <laughs> wait, wait, I, I wasn't here. Who, who did who did Chris think died? Didn't know he died. Well, that was, a, no, know, that was long several time ago. Long time ago. ago. Yeah, several we're talking about something. And we're going to wait oh, for Randy to email in. Was I here? Yeah, you were here. Yeah, oh, fuck, I wasn't listening. Yeah, you, you were probably masturbating. Randy writes in with an email and says, "Oh, well, no you subject. know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do." <laughs> Randy okay. writes in, uh, says, "They say the neon bright light." <laughs> I fucked this email up. Hey, I didn't get There's... that either. Like, but the, the, get the second one. The second one actually has the joke for Jack. They say the oh, okay. Neon well, I'll, I'll read blah, blah, the. Blah, blah, he blah, says blah, blah, blah. they say the neon lights are bright on Broadway. They say there's always magic in the air. Maybe Jack can answer this. What do Disney World and Viagra have in common? They both make you stand around for an hour and wait for a two-minute ride. <laughs> ah, nice. Well, hold on a second. Not if you play for the lightning ride, the lightning thing, because it's like yeah, well, that, that that's just like a hit. So, so you get you get quick jack on that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I satisfied myself. Oh well. Good night. <laughs> oh, it's just flaccid and small now. <laughs> hey, as long as I'm happy. Good night. <laughs> I'm I've been married how many how long? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is like, oh. I wish I could say something, but I don't want anyone to be offended. Hey, if you're keeping the love alive, Jack, it's all that matters. What? You're keeping you the love alive, man. Brought so much what? electricity what? to this episode. Oh, wait, I can't do that. I'm not hmm? an actor. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? So, <laughs> I'm just being honest. If if you've enjoyed the comedy stylings of Jack and Jack tonight, um, and maybe you have, go over to jackandjack.com. Oh, I'm sorry. There's another podcaster. Are you, involved. Are you jacking Jay. it? Are you jacking in? Or are you jacking out? I'm Apparently, jacking Jay wanted to join us for our Dune uh, discussion. Last oh yeah, that was week. the floating fat man thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We talked. Oh, is that about where you Dune. got floating fat man? Yep, floating yep. fat man should is I, a should, Dune reference. Oh wait, wait. I want to ask you: Should I watch Dune in yeah. the theater? In the theater, I don't want to go to the theater. You gotta go to the theater because, like, if you watch it on TV, you're not gonna get the experience because it, it's the sound and the visuals is what makes the movie because it's the first half of the book, so it's a lot of just build. You know, it's still good, but it's a lot of build, and you need to I feel got- everything that's happening. I gotta be honest. After spending a week at Disney World, where it, mask on, mask off, mask on, mask off, man. Oh, you've I, got I COVID. I probably do. We've all I don't COVID. get. I don't get because anytime you were inside, you had to wear your mask. Mm-hmm. But yet, when you're crammed together in the walking around, you didn't have to wear your mask. It's exactly. like deja vu. I think we've heard. I did. I did. Yeah. I did. I said, that, I, I, said that, I said that about the hockey game last week. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because I didn't get it. I'm just like going. Okay. Oh, I got better chance of catching COVID walking around because you're because Disneyland was their great at not making a lot of room. I smell that they're not COVID. making they're great at not making a lot of room for people to walk. In fact, I think I'm gonna make a video on, on Disney etiquette. Because no one knows anyway, go ahead. You you're referring to as if people have ethics anymore. No, they those, don't. Those went out the window like thirty years ago. Thirty years ago? Yeah. Forty uh, for that. Two things in the chat. Uh, <laughs> Miami Mike says, "Just wait until the right before the next." Can you dune. can you put it up there so we can see it? You can't see it on the right there. In the comments. Okay, okay. well, I, I for don't for, for Jack that can't read the chat, uh, Nick or maybe Mike, I choose, maybe I choose not to read the chat. Mike says that uh, just wait before the next Dune movie comes out, and um, and then watch Dune Part One because um, it's just a tease. So, Ooh, like um, Jack and Bid. Jefferson T- Davis is quite a tease. Mm-hmm. And Chris Drake says Four at years. the meetup, uh, Chris Drake was at the, the meetup. He wore his mask when he didn't have to. It felt weird to not have it on, oh. except when he was barbecuing. It's interesting. <laughs> uh-huh. it sounds like my mom. 
Ah, <laughs> yeah. High five. There you go. Um, <clears throat> I like uh, can't respond to that. When are we going to end this thing? <laughs> Can we just end this thing now? Nick's like going, okay, I got to call my Jefferson Davis yeah, yeah, prostitute. Yeah. Jefferson <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to make is that it, happen, Jack. It ain't happening. Is, is that the title of the episode? No. The Jefferson, Jefferson Davis, Davis prostitute, prostitute. Is, is, is the new it's... Chris punching an old man at a stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has said put up with that for so long. The thing is, is that you got the, you've earned the shit that you get shit. You're just making shit up about me. What the hell? With, let's be let's be honest. Jefferson Davis was not hot. No, he's not. I mean, but he was running. If he was running for racist president today, yeah, let's just, let's just say it. Okay. Would he get elect? Would he get elected? Because you're going to go. Uh, he didn't even get really. Have, I don't even think he got be, elected to the president of the Confederate States of America. He was just kind of like appointed. Appointed. Okay, if he ran for a president today, well, let's just elected? wait for twenty twenty four and find out what happens. Jack. It's a different time, Jack. You know, I'm a. Oh, I'm saying. I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying that, hypothetically. Let's wait until twenty twenty four and see I, what happens. I don't. I don't want to think of twenty twenty four because I'm scared. Well, I, I mean, okay. I'm, I'm scared. I, I it's might, like a war zone. You look at any president for the last hundred and fifty years. Most of them probably wouldn't be elected today. I mean, it's just oh, wait. Man. Last hundred fifty years. Let's see. Um, you're probably right. Well, Kennedy. Kennedy's the only FDR like, yeah, would first. definitely get elected. No, he would again. not. Yeah, oh, no, for sure. No, he's no, getting no, elected. No, there's no way. Yeah, oh, come on. There's no way. No way FDR he's, would be elected. No. He's elected. Shoe in. He's, no, he's in a wheelchair. Maybe. He's getting yeah. elected, man. No, Reagan, that, I mean, that's what's Reagan. funny. Is that, like, now that would probably Reagan would get elected. Yeah, probably Reagan. But that's but because Reagan had the actor. <laughs> the actor, yeah, yeah the actor. Hey, nice callback to Back to the Future. Yeah. Give me a tab. Yeah. You haven't ordered anything yet. Oh, shit, what was I saying? You, you know what I did? I did order some patrons Nobody. that made this show Nobody. possible. Are we right. done? You ordered patrons? What? Okay, you you don't want to be done. You want to keep going because I, I, it's after twelve, but I don't care. If we do, but we probably I should do. throw another commercial break though, because right? definitely uh, after eleven. Yeah, yeah, we got to do another commercial. Oh, that's break. right. My clock is an hour ahead. God. <laughs> well, if you oh. haven't changed your clock, take a commercial break and do it. Beep, boop, beep. The time is now. Oh, that, that really I, fucked I me disagree. up, man. Like, I, I don't think Abraham change. Lincoln gets elected. Yeah. The, 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 and, and it also messed up the, the Sunday football games. If you watched any of the football games, they were all kind of weird this Sunday. Like all of them. It was, it, it was up to every year has every season has upset Sunday. Mm-hmm. This was upset Sunday. You look at how the Bills lose at Jacksonville, scoring six fucking points. Man, if you were on FanDuel and you voted for the, the low points on that game, geez, you would have raked it in. I'm thinking about starting FanDuel. My brother did it, and I and I worry. I seriously worry about him because, like, the first week he did it, he got like a five hundred dollar win on something because he he I'm bid not, he bid really? like five dollars on a on a long shot kind of thing, and then it that's, and it hit. That's when you and, just well, he did. He did pull the money out. He did pull like four hundred and fifty dollars out. He's like, well, no, you know, I'm it's gonna... good to pull out. <laughs> it's good to know when to pull out. <laughs> just just say. Because you know I have two kids. Because I didn't know when to when pull to pull out. out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Miami Mike says upset Sun Eagles. Upset that Aaron Rodgers is a part of QAnon. <laughs> he's not quite part of QAnon. He's a All fucking right. idiot. He he's followed some idiot. Joe Rogan I'm advice. Vaccinated. What? I got COVID. Okay, maybe I wasn't vaccinated. For the Owen and Beru section of this podcast, I will just say that I think it's hilarious that he appeared on. Um, oh God, why can't I even think of it? He's a he's a Colts. He's he's the the main guy that does the show now that uh, you see everywhere. Um, God, what is his what? fucking name? Damn it, the Colts. He's, yeah, the Colts. He was a former kicker for the Colts, and I can't. Think oh, of his name uh, oh, Ben Terry. Uh, 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 He's got no, a show. No, no, He's got a whole been, show. He's like um, virally huge now. Pat McAfee. I know. Pat McAfee. Yep. So he was fuck, on the Pat fuck, McAfee fuck, show. Fuck, fuck, I'm Pat McAfee. Fuck, fuck, bullshit, fuck. <laughs> that's, that's Pat McAfee. 
Aaron Rodgers has been on Pat McAfee's show for every, for every a Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, this Tuesday, he he appeared wearing a Star Wars Rise of Skywalker sweatshirt and Ooh. apologizing about the whole COVID thing. He and, apologized for wearing a Rise fans, of Skywalker shirt. Fans were like, basically like, <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Like, you're wearing this sweatshirt. Like, the people that lit him up on Twitter for just wearing the sweatshirt, it was like, yeah, no wonder we didn't trust your advice on anything. You're wearing that fucking sweatshirt. It was just, like, so, so funny. Like, I'm going to okay. Chris now. People were like, people were like, uh, yeah, I can forgive you for the COVID thing, but uh, the Prince of Skywalker sweatshirt, like, is a deal breaker, man. Exactly. So he can't take you seriously if you're wearing that shit. He's an he idiot. Like he handled like there, there's a good skit. Was it a skit or is it I don't know what I saw. Maybe someone put us up on TikTok. And it was like they did a like a joke about you know what what, what was Aaron Rodgers' you know PR firm like taking the phone call of like finding out of what he did and then what he said and then what he kept saying after the fact. <laughs> like like talk about like just digging yourself as deep of a hole as humanly possible. Like what do you what, he was right about one thing, though the the right would hail him, mm-hmm. you know, as a hero, and the right would left. or the left would deif, you know, like mm-hmm. deify him, you know, or not deify him, so but demonize him. Demonize so him, yeah, I mean, that's, you that's the you know, it's tribes. So, but like, come on, though, like following Joe Rogan's advice because you think you're going to become impotent because you're going to take this vaccine. You're, I don't know, my my son's eleven. He found out he could get the vaccine. He's like, all right, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. I got to go to school okay. with 500 other kids that like, all like right. I fucking like Chris, wipe bro. their nose on the walls, you know? I tried to be Chris for a while. I okay. Can't do it anymore. Yeah. How did it work uh, be for quiet. you? It, it, it didn't work well. If you're a player in the NFL, in any sport, you take medication to get back on the field. You take, you know, okay, hey, my knee's fucked up. I'm, you know, you, you give it your all. Why are you fucking around? Take the shot. I mean, every, the, the, every week you see this guy's on COVID protocol, pro, COVID protocol. If you're a team player, take the fucking shot. I'm not mm. saying, am I, am I making a good point? Because it's just like, what the fuck? Your team. I mean, they lost the game to the Chiefs because he wasn't in the game. Yeah, true. Literally lost. I mean, the yeah. Chiefs all of a sudden can't score. But you they can still score. get COVID regardless if you've had the vaccine I, I, or not. I, so I he would get, still be get... out if he still got COVID regardless. Look, Jefferson Davis, relax a second. <laughs> but but <laughs> I'm saying, even, I, even I, for I, my I, even I, for I my students you. though, like like they don't have to like isolate, you know, or or quarantine, you know, well, if they I'm get COVID if they're vaccinated. If they're vaccinated and they get COVID, aside from becoming sick, like they don't, you know. The, the protocols, at least for at the school system, is that you don't have to, like, remove yourself and isolate yourself like some kind of leper, you know? Again, I, I if people choose not to get it, that's their choice. I'm not going to sit there and say, people, hey, you, you have to get the shot. Except Aaron but if you're, it, it, But if you're a player <laughs> and you, you're fighting, you know, each game matters. I mean, yeah. it, 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 especially in the NFL, each game matters. You don't get your shot. You lost the game to the Chiefs again, only because Aaron Rodgers wasn't playing. Did you see their win Aaron percentage Rodgers with played? with without Rodgers versus with Rodgers? Their I'm game win percentage is is worse than like the uh, had Jordan, the Owen sixteen right? Browns. No one loves Jordan Love. Miami Mike Miami. says you can still get a concussion wearing a helmet, but you won't get your head knocked off and die. Boom. <laughs> Well, Mike I mean, for the I win. finally felt he finally said something that was important. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Jack's Jack's on a tear this week. <laughs> I, I think he's just trying to make up for lost. Time. Yeah, he's, he's like, Disney I was at Disneyland. Man. I'm gonna get or Disney World. To, to be get... fair, it's been two weeks. I have a lot bottled in, a lot of pent up. No, sperm. but I'm, I'm saying, but That's if, if you're if, if I'm a player and I'm a team player. Mm-hmm. Fuck off, Chris. If I'm a team player, <laughs> I'm the one who said it. You know, yeah, I but, mean, like but, seriously, but there no. are there are players that are gonna get like horse sperm, like shot in their knee to like Wait. you know get back Wait. on on the Wait. field. What the fuck you get horse sperm? I don't know, look, but you know, cheap fucker. Just be quiet for a second. <laughs> if I if I'm a if I'm a team player, 
If I'm playing a you sport, I, I'm all about the team. Like on this podcast, I deal with people like, well, the three. You're of you. practically the quarterback. <laughs> exactly. More like a puncher. If, if I'm, I'm going <laughs> to a puncher. I thought <laughs> no that was Chris. The fucking puncher. <laughs> but no, get the fucking shot. Get fucking back. It, it is kind of dumb. Jack You're making is definitely the fucking, fucking punter. <laughs> <laughs> You're making 35 fucking dolphin sperm right Dolphin sperm. <laughs> Whatever the sperm might be, <laughs> players are getting it ejaculated into their knees. It, just ejaculated? Ejaculated. <laughs> ejaculated. The fucking kind of... It said ejaculated? Ejaculated? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, if I'm being ejaculated is. by a dolphin, it's a combination uh, of being injected and wait, a dolphin's fucking me right time. now. <laughs> anyway, no, seriously, if I if I'm if I'm that important <laughs> clipboard, Jesus. <laughs> All right, Miami Mike, uh, you win the you win the day. I cannot figure out how to spell ejaculated, but if that was a you probably just. <laughs> And I would just uh, not let it snow, but I would let it go. Okay, there you go. You know, you know what, Chris, go smoke a joint. But I'm saying, I'm saying, if if, okay. if you're the quarterback and the star of the team, get fuck. At what point do you say, okay, I need to get vaccinated? If you're someone who's in the fucking general population and has the ability to get a vaccine that could help stop other people from getting sick, get the fucking shot. I don't give a fuck if you're a quarterback or not. Just fucking do and it. I, like so, I said, I'm I'm not here to tell people, hey, you have to do what I want to do. I'll fucking tell you. Well, <laughs> quiet, because you're, you're the good guy. You're the good guy. You're the good guy. You're the bad quarterback. Jerry said, you're, "Jerry said, <laughs> Jerry said, you're the good guy. You don't, you know when to stop." He's the receiver. I think he's the giver. <laughs> 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 It's just like, where did we, where did we go wrong, guys? We were talking about Aaron Rodgers. Where's where's Jefferson Davis? (laughs) Not even my type. Really, you like the you like the little goatee, don't you? He's too liberal. I'm just. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) God. See, I I remain quiet. Nick's but trying to not hold the it most in. important it's like, I'll get you for this. What, what, what's the title of that? So, Jefferson Davis, Pornhub? <laughs> no, it's it's Ejaculated. <laughs> ejaculated. Ejaculated. No, ejaculated. Oh, it's fuck. definitely Ejaculated. <clears throat> yeah, I've lost it. I'm, I'm gone. Um, <laughs> ejaculated by the punter. I hope you've enjoyed this show, as we all wait. Have. I'm trying. I'm trying to think who. Uh, who <clears throat> all right, no, no, no. This is where we have to just stop. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this show as much as we all have, and I appreciate everybody that joined us live. I can't believe Colt McCoy's still in the league. I'm- I can't believe it either. But the one thing that I can believe is that we have patrons that make this show possible. It's the reason why I think they've, I think they've all given up being a patron. <laughs> Probably said, Indianapolis said, sperm bank. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, if you enjoy what we do on this show, and why wouldn't you go over Bloody, to iTunes? Or, or why would you? <laughs> there, are many many reasons, there are many reasons. Why Tell us would. why you listen. <laughs> if you're Randy or any I'm fucking stone <laughs> or any number of the other <laughs> listeners that email into the show, send us an email at rca. Wait, hold on a second. Gmail. Randy is the only one that emails. No, we we actually had an email last week. Did um, we? But yeah, you weren't Q or on. <laughs> you weren't you weren't here uh, for that one. Wait, was, I wasn't um, here. Are you sure? Yeah, it was from <sighs> Eugenio Wurgelin. Hi, Jay and Jack. My name is Eugenio, and I'm the founder of Audrey. I reach out because I want to invite you to. Oh, sorry, no, that's not the one. Um, Lily, no, Riley. That's what it was. This is so funny. You guys thought Chris was vaping weed the whole time. I just assumed common knowledge that it was nicotine. That would be so much weed. LOL, Riley. There you go. Well, well, obviously, Riley, you haven't podcasted with Chris before. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. Hey. 
I mean, I mean, think about it. As much as he was vaping on there, you know, he's pretty quiet. Unless he just yeah. got something just percolating right through the top of his head at the beginning. But then by the end of the episode, he just keeps, you know, toking right. along. And then oh. he's hilarious by the end. Just like how Matt has the one beer and then he's... You know. Two beers, well, thank it's, you. It's because I typically today. I typically have an edible just before we start. Along so, with the smoking. So, so you're saying, Nick, you're yeah. saying Chris is only funny when he's stoned and Matt's only funny... Well, never. Matt's never funny. What? <laughs> That's clearly when I've been drinking. Never when I've been stoned. Uh, I'm gone. I, I uh, Chris, I yes, care. it would be really a lot of weed. Like if you watched Chris every night, well, like all I, of his smoking. You know, I didn't know so. the whole yeah. thing. I, I'm, I'll be honest. I thought Chris was stoned the whole time. No. I mean, am I the? I, I mean, obviously, I wasn't the only one. Tip of the hat, though, to Chris, who Thanks. informed us. Who informed us at the beginning before we started recording that you're still off the nicotine? So wait a minute. Yeah. Three weeks. Three weeks, right, Nick? I, yeah, yeah, I think it's been three weeks now. Yeah, it's crazy. It has been three. Um, weeks. Yeah, I mean, I commend, that, was, I, I commend you seriously. I appreciate it. It sucks. I still want but it. But you can, you can do it. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah, just eat my. You're food. doing it every day by by if, throwing if you, it away. If, uh, I've said before, if you need, if you think you're gonna call me, and I'll, I'll. Talk you out of it. Uh, you can also call me and I will ignore the the Chris has got the oral fetish. Showing down there. Yeah. Uh, If you if you You do have an oral, every time you think about doing it, think okay, what would Jefferson Davis do? Oh, Jefferson! Are you trying to make me never have an erection again? I mean, what the Margaret Thatcher on a cold winter's day? Margaret Thatcher on a cold winter's day. (laughs) (laughs) Margaret Thatcher on a cold winter's day. If you've enjoyed exactly what we've done like on this show, and why wouldn't you? Because time. Jack keeps talking over top of me and doesn't want this show to end. I don't. What, uh, what else do I have to do? I know. The magic of Disneyland left you empty. Oh, I'm sorry. World. Disney World. World. Disney World. James, take me around the I, world one more time. I kept getting in trouble for calling it Disneyland. Uh, Chris Drake, I did say smoke weed, not cigs. Yeah, but it's still that nicotine. It's It's a bitch it's a bitch of a it just gnaws at you it's like hey man it's Chris okay got on Mentos. we can just hang out for a little bit you know i mean just you and me remember how good it used to be it could be like that again are you ryan reynolds yeah that was my acting as ryan Reynolds. okay so if you're not a stunt, pretending to be play? nicotine if you so. if you're not a smoker can you play a smoker Dude, I don't know how to answer that, but I will just say that being an ex-smoker, I definitely know the withdrawal, and I definitely know how shitty that is, and I know that Chris is going that's why That's why you're always so cranky. No, I'm way past it. If I have a smoke now, it just gives me a bad headache, and I throw up. Have you you smoked a cigarette? I have smoked a cigarette since I quit smoking. It was when I was out at a bar drinking with friends, and and my friends were smoking, and I thought... Wow, I could just have a cigarette. I'm going to have a cigarette. And then I smoke, smoke? I smoke a cigarette and I almost immediately have a headache and I throw up later. And then I realize, nope, I cannot smoke were, cigarettes anymore. Were you, you smoking said, with little Bo Peep? It was, ye- it was, <laughs> and, and Chris, Chris, this was years after I, I finally got over the hurdle. So, you know, oh, yeah. like, little I Bo definitely Peep. had a cheat moment in my Don't first smoke. year. No, I'm just I'm trying to pass on. Like, so I you had a headache for a year? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, like I had a. a you know what? I'm just going to finish this this show. Chris, you no, ready I'm to do the patrons? You, I'm asking a serious question. I don't know. I I've never been addicted to cigarettes. Uh, it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. So it just it gnaws at you. Let's all do the time. it. Okay. So if you want to become a patron, there's a couple patrons that make this show possible. Go over to jandjack.com, click on the patron link, make this make this show possible. Thank you for everyone that joined us live in the chat. You really do make this show possible. Uh, we really enjoy enjoy talking. To, well, no, really. Like what well, Jack Jack doesn't give a shit about you, but we do. We do. I'm I'm saying where was John? There was a theme. John to showed this. up. Like well, he was right? kind of butt hurt about. Jo- no, John from UPS. Yeah, oh, he was. Yeah, he was sure. he retired. He's, he's retiring. Like, I mean, yeah. he's retired. I mean, I think he's done in like uh, February. Maybe. So there's a couple patrons that make this show possible. 
there's a theme to them this this week. Let's see if Chris can figure out what they uh, are. Ah, Timnal Tech. Go Montreal. This one's a little a little a little trickier, but R- wow, Richter's wow, that's rolling nice hills. Work. You used to do that. wait. Hold on a second. You used to do that today. I did. I did all of these tonight. These were nice all live work. on the spot. Okay, yeah. Matt. Nice work. Foliage Ed. Oh, I like. Yeah, I, I thought about like drawing a person with the foliage covering the. No, junk. you ha- you you nailed it. Yes, Mike Equinox Ed would have worked better, but okay, this is what we're doing. <laughs> Damn, Just... Maple Leaf Mackie. Wow, that's my favorite. That could be a T-shirt. I just think it's fine. That Joanne Mike... enjoying the fall. Yes, Mike did it better than Matt. <laughs> Thank you all for doing what you do. Thanks for making this show possible. Thanks for making this show a great show because it was one in a million, kids. In a million. I'm sorry. I Half a million. Down. I do that a lot. I'm going to go ahead and It punch. happens with a lot of old guys. <laughs> <laughs>